beach house. Today is a beautiful new day and I decided I want to get up a little bit earlier and I'm going to make some breakfast for everybody. So I'm making sausage and bacon. How's that sound? Yeah! So you guys don't like the idea? We were so You're silly. Ah, I'm just joking. <laughs> All right, guys, who wants some bacon? Me! Okay, they're very hot, so here you go. There you go, Corbin. Charlie. There you go, buddy boy. Enjoy! That's yours. Good morning, beauty. <laughs> you ready to have a great day of treasure hunting? Yes. Me too. You're dead and you need to kiss from mama. Yay! Yay! He's alive! Woo! They're dropping like flies. <laughs> You're awake! He, got, he brought you back to life. Uh-oh, they really are dropping like flies. In the middle of the road, Charlie! Kiss me! Give him a kiss quick so he can get out of the road. Okay, let's go play this back at our house, Ellie, come on. Every truck that comes past, I do this and they honk at us. Okay, yeah. we'll see if they honk. He's Look. looking, keep going. Okay, you guys ready to go? Got the map. You got the map and you got the key? It's weird being parked on this hill. I know. Right by the traffic. Let's shut all the windows actually. That's kind of weird. Okay, we'll shut the windows. Hopefully no one will peek in and try to take any of our stuff. We're back in Astoria, let's go tour. Let's go see if we can learn anything about where we're supposed to be right now. You ready? I'd say we parked pretty close. I'd say I parked close enough anyway. As close as I can. <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah. Wait, yeah. All right, we are at the County Jail, Oregon Film Museum. All right, guys, let's go in here. Did you guys see the beginning of the Goonies? Hey, that's that's Mikey. Let's go in here, guys. Cool, that's the map, hey, guys. That's the same this one's Hey, that's the same monster. Oh. This is the set. This is the actual set where they filmed the Goonies. This is the thing that he hung up on the wall to hang on to. What does it say? It says, you schmuck, do you really think I'd be stupid enough to kill myself? That's, this is the spot and the thing. Look, that's Data's outfit. That's so cool. I can't believe we are actually in the prison set from the beginning of the movie, The Goonies. That is so cool. Don't get your finger stuck. Oh, that would have been bad. Have you guys seen anything from Mr. E yet today? 
We got this map in this key last night, but we haven't found anything else yet. Yeah. Look at this. It was right there. On the wheel. It's <gasps> on the map. No way. The butter. <gasps> Wait, that's in the movie Goonies. That is in the movie. <gasps> That's just the same thing. They oh, use that cool. like on the on the top of the map. Let's put it on the map and let's see where it leads us. Let's see where it points to. Here's the map. Wait. Hey. Wolfram. Divider. Divider. Look. <gasps> is that the same? That? I think the that's the same. Symbol. That is. Oh my goodness. Let's see it. Whoa. Oh, yeah. There, just like that. Perfect. That is. It's oh, the same. Wow. The very same symbol. So we were in the museum and we found out that in the movie they filmed where those rocks were on the beach. We found out what beach that is. So I think we should go to that beach where he holds this up and see if maybe there's something there for us. That's right. That's right. In the movie he totally holds this up and like and he holds it and he looks and and behind it is Cannon Beach or that one beach. Let's go. All right, Michael is getting the treasure chest ready. Putting it in a Walmart bag. It's a bigger one, so make sure to try and find it if you live nearby. It's very heavy. I know, this one I was like, oh, it's so heavy, so <laughs> full of pennies. So what park are we at right now? So I'm not sh quite sure. We're in Seaside. Welcome to the Carthright, Cartwright Park pump track. I think that's for bikes to ride on. Okay, yeah, but this we're, one, we're Cart Cartwright Park. Cartwright Park um, in, in Seaside, Seaside Oregon. Oregon. Here's the park. Get excited because this is where you need to look. But over here where those three trees are all together in one clump, that is where the treasure is hidden. Michael's taking some branches and moss and covering up the treasure chest really good. And it's literally hidden underneath these branches. I think we might need to hide it a little bit better because I can still see it on camera really well. All right, so make sure when you find it to send us a picture at the beach house. Also, if you love these treasures, then make sure to follow the Jurgies. They also hide treasures every week, but they're gonna be doing it full time. We're only doing it for this trip, so make sure to follow the Jurgies if you wanna find more treasure. All right, the kids are all playing and having fun. I'm on top of the water. I'm on top of the water. <laughs> you really are. Look at that barnacle boat. There's Charlie. Are you going down the bridge? Is that fun? Yeah. Okay, we are on the Lewis and Clark Trail, which is interesting by accident, on our way to the beach where they filmed the Goonies. So we're heading there right now. So we're going uh, into Kola State Park, heading to Indian Beach. Indian Beach is where they filmed the specific scene from the Goonies where they see the rocks and they use that coin to look through and see the rocks, so I think that that might be where we need to go to and find the, the same next thing. clue from Mr. E. Yeah, it's like driving through a tunnel of trees, leaving Tsunami Hazard Zone. Interesting. Check it out. A bird in the road, a bird. Move, bird, move. Wow, it's a tunnel of trees, guys. So cool. I'm afraid. Why? Because it's such a skinny road. This is so crazy. Oh no! Oh no! Ah, stop! You're gonna hit the tree! Ooh. Okay. Oh wait, roll your window down maybe okay? then. Well, it's not a highway, guys. That's true. This is not a highway. It's, it's barely even a street. <laughs> that was the closest one. <laughs> that was so like, yeah! you know, in the movies. These trees are huge. People keep having to drive past, but we have to stop because we don't want to accidentally hit them. Whoa, guys, look at that giant tree trunk that's fallen over right there. Whoa. Now that is a forest. This is also where Twilight was filmed. No wonder oh, I'm like. Beach? Yes. I thought that was filmed in Forks, Forks, Washington. I think it was here. I'll, I'd have to check, but 
Doesn't this just look like you're gonna see a vampire running, giving somebody a piggyback ride through this forest? Dip, slow, caution, speed bumps ahead, and vans, it's and gotta, almost hitting signs. It's gotta be more scary for the people on the outside because they're on the cliff. Yeah, that's true. And now I'm thinking about heading back down this thing. And it's scaring and you. And we're gonna be on the cliff. Woo, we'll be okay. <laughs> wow. Whoa, that giant wall of roots is a tree that fell over. All right, we are all dressed in warm clothes and ready to go out and find. I got the coin. Corbin has the, co or James has the coin. Dad has the map. And Corbin has the key, the skeleton key thing. All right. Oh, I think I see it. That's so cool. Wait, okay, we gotta go. We'll go right over here and then we'll film it. So cool. This way, James, this way. Wow, that's it. It's down there. Do you see it, James? Let me see. There it is. We're in the right place. This is where we figured out we feel like we need to go. This so has gotta be close. We gotta start I, looking I around. Look, you guys, I see it, but we need to do it from this angle. Wait, oh, it's on the box. What? No way. Place. Oh, that's so interesting. Whoa! Oh, hey, wait, Charlie, come here. We found it. That's so cool. I love the one. It's huge. Found. That is huge. I found it. Good job, Corbin, dude. Good job, Whoa. man. We're on the box of Sesame Street. Yeah. Oh, that is so, so cool. Good. We found it. Show it to Charlie. Oh, what is this? What is this? I already saw Well, you guys all sit right here. I want to get a picture. Beach House Vlogs on Instagram. All right, hold it. Hold it again, Ellie. Hold it up. Look at Dad. So, guys, I think I know how to solve this. Let's see okay. if we can figure it out. The way to get it out, it out yeah. is you have to turn it into the right position because there's a line and a line, and, and you have to pull it out that way, so we have to turn it into the right places. Okay, so where is that then? Hmm. So which ones match up? Oh yeah, that would match up. Oh, a crab and a crab. A lion, is there a lion? Lion. Does that work? No. Let's do. Well, okay, what does this have to do with anything? Is this just, it's like the sun and the moon. So how do we solve this thing, huh? Interesting. Do the knobs just spin or do they do anything else? All they do is Is it opening more? It's opening a tiny bit. It's shedding, it's shedding. And it's shedding that way. But I feel like it wouldn't have these like pictures on it if the pictures didn't have something to do with it. Ah. Looking to see what will match. They can't pull up. Or maybe it's a thing where you have to put something together. Yeah. Like put okay. a man on a horse. Or put a crab horse and a man on the horse. Interesting. Well, this is a very beautiful beach. Yes, it is. And we drove through some treacherous wilderness to get here. Yeah, we did. That <laughs> was actually really scary. Yeah, it was very scary. <sighs> Baby, you want to give it a try? Sure. Okay, mom's turn, James. You got a good try. Let's see what mom can figure out about it. So it looks like it slides. The top slides off, definitely. Okay. It's just how do we get it to slide? Whoa! Did you break it? Yeah, we broke it. Do you think that came out wait, on purpose? Wait, wait, wait. A lion, maybe? A lion, maybe? Or is it a crab? Very interesting. Is there something on the bottom of that or inside? Is there anything inside of it? Wait. I want to look inside here. Looks like <gasps> it's red. Is, there, is that a chest? It looks like a treasure chest is in there. Can I see? Yeah, look at that. There's something cool in there. Oh, this is exciting. So what else? What else is there on that knob that you pulled off? Is there anything to it? It's literally just. It just comes out. 
That's, it's not even anything locking it in there. No, which, but these seem to be different. <gasps> There's definitely a box in there. <gasps> Charlie, stay here. It's a chest. It's it is a, a chest. treasure chest. It's a little treasure chest. Can I help him up? <laughs> another treasure chest. I think there's I lots of treasure chest. chests. <gasps> Maybe there's a tiny treasure chest and there's a key in it. Ooh. Okay, so it can't be pushed down anymore. It seems like it's not the same thing as the, this or else it would have popped out by now. Right. Which but means, do these need to match up now? Hey, that oh, has to go to that. They don't seem like they do anything. Yeah. Charlie, do you know how to solve the, the secret box? Yeah. Will you tell mom the secret? Go tell mom how to fix it. Charlie says he knows how to solve it. How do we do it, Charlie? Um. Good job, dude. Good job helping. How about we tip it upside down and then wiggle it around and see if there's anything that falls out. Why does that knob come off? Well, what? Did you hear that? Whoa, I heard it. I keep hearing things. Do you hear that? <laughs> you got it, Becca! Whoa. And a note! And another note! Wow! That was Your hard! Your journey continues at Mingus Park, Mr. E. I don't know where Mingus Park is. Let's look it up and go there. Wow! Your journey continues. I want to see. We found treasure! I want to see. Your journey continues at Mingus Park. Mr. Whoa! E. And a treasure Whoa. chest! Where's the rubies? They disappeared quick! Wow! A black diamond and a blue diamond. Charlie, where's and the rubies? Point. Charlie, how look at wow, that? that was hard to figure that out. Was, that took a long time. Charlie's about to throw it away. Look at that. Whoa. I can't even believe we figured that out. That was wow. so cool. We really had to work together on that one. Cool. And it definitely tried my patience. <laughs> now we can't get it open. Good job figuring it out, babe. That is so cool. You're so good at solving puzzles. Ha ha! <laughs> so now let's go to the beach and hang out for a little bit. Today, we are back on the road. We've had a really fun couple days visiting my mom, taking a little bit of break from the trip. But now we're back on the road and we're heading to our next clue. But first, I just want a friendly reminder that you guys, we are going to Haiti in July. It's less than a month away. To help support this mission trip, we're gonna be doing a lot of good service while we're there. If you buy a UV loop, half of the proceeds from all the purchases of these UV loops goes towards humanitarian aid and service to, to other countries that are in need. So anyway, 
Just want to throw that out there. We got a link in the description below if you want to pick up a UV loop. They're awesome. It's a fantastic product because it, it, it can hold your phone. You guys know the drill. You've seen it before. Anyway, just want to throw that out there. Let's have an awesome day today. We got to our destination. I was coughing a lot. I went to the doctor last night. Me too. And I was coughing so loud. We were both at the doctor coughing a lot. Corbin had to get a shot, right Dad? Yep, and look what I got. Ah, uh, but we've gotten a lot better for looking around to see if we can You're find a clue. Very... And it has an owl on the roof. Pretty funny, huh? Let's take a look at the last clue that we found again and just double check and see where exactly we're supposed to go. Do you remember how to go get it open? It's on the side. There you go, so easy now. All right, what does it say? Let's read it one more time. Your journey continues at Mingus Park, Mr. E. So we Googled Mingus Park and found out that it's here in Coos Bay, Oregon, which is where we are right now. We just got the RV parked. We've been working on getting it cleaned. Since we've been parked at my mom's house for the last few days, the RV's gotten a little bit messy. But we got it all cleaned up, and it's looking great. Rebecca's been washing dishes. It was a lot bit messy. Yeah, a lot bit messy, I guess. <laughs> Let's go to Mingus Park, and I wanna see if maybe there's anything there, but we're gonna walk, because there's no parking for RVs over there, so we're gonna go for a family walk to Mingus Park and yeah. see what we can find. And Corbin and me are gonna get the scooters, and maybe Ellie will get a, the small scooter, yeah, and we'll Charlie walk. will be in the stroller, and Mom and Dad will walk. I think it's gonna work out great. Okay, the kids are all ready to go on their strollers. Ellie's got her stroller. Tell me about what you got. Do I have crazy hair? I think it's beautiful hair. Very cute. So I want to show you guys what I got, got off of Amazon. It's the tiniest stroller Guinness World Record. And it is so cool. Is it really Guinness? Yes. Oh, it's wow. It's a big one. It's like the most, the it's tiniest big one. I will put a link in the description below if you like it. You can go and get it on Amazon. It will be so cool. I've had it already for a little while and I'm so in love with it. Check this out. Fancy. All right, Charlie, come sit down. And look at this. And check this out. Sunshade. Awesome. And these can stay or be locked or not. Not Ready to go, Charlie? Yeah. Okay, let's go, buddy boy. Yeah. James, look at me. Yeah. A locomotive. Yeah. A locomotive? Yeah. Check it out, it's a locomotive. Check it out, Oregon Coast Historical yeah. Railway. That looks like fun. There's a train track. A train track? Like two miles. Ugh. That's a long ways with four kids and two adults. So we are currently whoop, crossing the street. Wow. We're at a beautiful, beautiful park. And it's really cold. Oh, I'm kicking myself because I, I knew that we needed coats. I just had a feeling like we should use them. I looked at the weather and then I didn't grab everybody a coat or warm clothes. So we're all in summer clothes and it's really cold. Look at the bumpy trail. That's from roots underneath from trees. Good job, Corbin. Ellie's going down. Charlie's going up. Is that fun? Yeah. Ellie, move out of the way so Charlie, he's coming. Watch out. Whee! Is that fun? Are you ready? Yeah. Are you nervous? <laughs> ready? Set? Go! Are you just scared? Oh, don't go face. Oh yeah! Hey, Charlie, no, don't go face first. Do it like do it like Char Corbin. Go! 
Okay, you go now. <laughs> you go now, Charlie. You can do it, Charlie. It's okay. Whee! <laughs> That's so fun! <laughs> Where's that? Woo! Good job. The beach house pin just fell off in the grass. It's so important. I can't lose that. It's what, di what distinguishes ours from somebody else's all camera. Especially because all the vloggers have the same exact camera. <laughs> okay, so it's really cold and I can't handle it. We're gonna try and find the clue as fast as possible. We have decided to stop playing. Oh, look, he's up on the hill. <laughs> wow. He's just escaping. He's just like, okay, see you later. Come on, Charlie. We gotta get in the stroller. We gotta go find the clue. We have taken a long break from finding the treasures because we really wanted to be able to visit our family in Oregon. This is a beautiful park and I think we can we can explore it and enjoy ourselves while we're just looking around, but at the same time, guys, listen. We need to be looking for the clue at the same time, okay? There we go. All buckled up. Woohoo! You ready? Say onward! <laughs> onward! <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. It's like from a movie or something. Look at these lily pads! And the flowers are in blossom that are on the lily pads. Wow! Slow. I'm going really slow. Ah! <laughs> You're super fast. He's getting pictures of the kids. Follow us on Instagram. Beach House Vlogs on Instagram. Look at this cute archway of trees right here. That's pretty cool. This is what we do. We take professional pictures and put them on it, up on Instagram. There are stairs. There are stairs to get down there. That's a cool place. Whoa, what does that say? Wow. What does that say? Just graffiti. Yep, mom's getting pictures with the kids on the bridge. Me and Charlie, I'm pushing him in the stroller. We're still searching for this clue by Mr. E. We're here at Mingus Park, which is where he told us to go, but I'm not seeing anything here. It's just the most gorgeous park ever. So beautiful. Hi, buddy. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah. Good. Look at this. There's a little island out there on the water. And a little bridge. Definitely a very cool, cool, cool place here. What do you think of this place, Ellie? It's creepy, a tiny bit. Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. I think it's Japanese. A little bit Japanese. There's a cool little stream here. Oh, what's that? Whoa! It's like a painted rock. It's got a little picture, like of an eyeball. W-L-P-R. I wonder what that means. It doesn't say Mr. E on it though, so it makes me wonder. I don't think it's from Mr. E. I hope that's a daddy long legs and not an actual. What happened? What is that? Corbin found something interesting. Where was it? Right there. Wait. Can I see it? Underneath behind the bench? Can I see it? What does it say? I think it's one of those three D things. It looks like I see words. I see it. Whoa, I can see it too. Or O R O. That's weird. Can you guys see it on the camera? Whoa! Do you see that? Turn. What is, mystery of green on ground. Can you guys read it on camera? I think it says growing mystery of green on brown. Brown. Growing mystery of green on brown. Oh. Well, we're in the woods. What do you think that means, green on brown? No, I think it's dirt. Oh, oh, oh. It's interesting because when you look at it straight on like this, it like. You can't read anything. It, like it's, it just kind of looks like a maze. Can I go down? It's totally just a maze, but when you like tilt it like that, now I can read it. Growing mystery of green on brown. What do you think is green on brown? Moss. 
green on brown. Tree? Do you know what green is? I know what green is. Say green on the ground? There's a green on the ground? Green on brown. Oh. What about that? What about trees, guys? Trees have green leaves growing on brown. The tree is brown and the leaves are green. Mystery. Growing mystery of green on brown. You know how all the mystery clues that are electric and it has it shows his body but it doesn't show his face or anything. Right. It has trees in the background. Right. I wonder if it's somewhere around here. Well we just found the clue here. Hmm. Did you have some did you have a thought, Rebecca? I think we're almost forgetting sometimes that Miss if there's if there's a clue here that Mr. E was just here. Because some of the places that he put stuff, it like makes it so we find it really soon. And like right. it's not that hard to find once right. we're in the area. Which makes me wonder if he's like around here right now. That's a creepy thought. Is he a gro he's the growing mystery. Like who is he? And green where is he? Of and green on brown. Green mystery of mystery of green on brown. I like a new scooter hit. Well what I think we need to define it what is green on brown. It does say mystery. Look. Mystery. It just doesn't say Mr. E. Stay here. Honey. Growing mystery. It says mystery instead of Mr. E. I can't even hear you. I, I can't talk too loud because I don't want Mr. E to hear if he's here right now. I want to try and find him or sneak up on him or something. Do you guys think we should look for him? Yeah. Well, it means that he was here just barely. If he put that thing down, then we need to try and like go on a hunt to find I him. See him. I see him. Hey, Come Michael's on. gonna stay with the stuff. Ellie, you gotta Don't leave your scooter right here. We're in the bamboo. Oh, Wait. in the bamboo. Don't fall in the water. Be, be quiet. Maybe I'm not supposed to do this, but I just feel like I wanna go on the hunt for Mr. E. I wanna just talk to him or I wanna like find out more about him. Are you getting trapped? <laughs> He's He's totally getting trapped in there. <laughs> Don't go through there. Go through over here. Go out by dad. I thought I saw him running that way. No way. Whoa. <gasps> I just had a thought. What if Mr. E is more than one person? Whoa, he could be. We'd never know. Maybe he has people that work for him. That would be interesting, dad, especially if we ended up we finding Especially if we ended up finding somebody, but they weren't the real Mr. E. Well, um, let's do this. Let's hide a treasure. Okay. Let's bury a treasure here, you guys. Okay. Um, I think I know just the spot. All right, perfect. So what is our location here? What is the name of this park? Mingus Park. Mingus Park. Yeah, so. Mingus Park in Coos Bay, Oregon is where we're hiding the treasure. So right now we're over here on this trail oh, by the water. Yeah. There's a bridge right here that I want to go to. Oh, right I think we're going to hide it underneath that bridge right okay. there. Okay. <gasps> oh, wow. That's so pretty. But don't pick any more flowers, okay? guys. Come on. Here, Mom. Thank you. Oh, she so thoughtfully picked me a flower. Put it right here. You can? Oh, don't pick any more flowers. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> you, is it? Yeah. Did you pick that just for me? Yeah. That is the most gorgeous flower, and now I feel really guilty because I don't think we were supposed to pick that. <laughs> He's so happy to give it to me, though. How can I say no? Ah. I want to keep my eye out, even if it's just to sneak a peek of anybody that might have been Mr. E dropping off that last clue. If you're new to our videos right now, we are in the middle of a West Coast treasure hunt that was sent to us from a viewer. He sent us a clue which led to a trailer, or which led to an RV, a motorhome that he gave us. From there, he's led us all across the Western US, and now we are in Oregon, Coos Bay, hiding a treasure. This is a little mini bridge. This is what it looks like. Make sure nobody's looking. And make sure no one's watching. Did you get it? It's in there. Okay, show the camera where you okay. it's Underneath this bridge. Right there. I 
If you look right no here, you can see it too. I think no one could it's a plastic be. bag. So it's right there underneath where the boardwalk changes right after this small bridge. There's a big bridge right there. And then there's another small bridge right here and it's just right here at the corner by the rock. Make sure to send us pictures when you find it and tag us on all of our medias. Right behind you I just saw some bushes moving. Do you ever get the feeling that you're being watched? Yes. I just have this feeling like he's close. Yeah. Here Ellie, you can go now, but try not to roll up hills. Let's keep going guys. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Go, 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 There's a guy going crazy up there. So oh, I oh. wouldn't. There. I, yeah. Yeah. There's a bad one. Flipping out, swearing. He's just right. Like, I was literally, literally just running. No, I There's a I guy him. screaming and yelling and swearing. And he's still close by, actually, so I'm like... Oh, yeah. Be so careful. So we're, like, How trying to... That? We ran as fast as we could, but it felt like he was following us. He literally was going where we were going, and I was like... He, we were even... I even started running. I have the camera, and I, I left it on when I was running, because I was like, if something bad happens, I want to have proof of it. Yeah. That was really stressful and very scary. And now I'm like, I don't want to be walking home at night. <laughs> right. Like, that's too scary. Right. So cold right now. It's just me. I'm the only one who has a sweater. You didn't bring a sweater. Mom brought that I sweater. brought a sweater. <laughs> I knew I should have brought more and I didn't. Oh. How do you like that egg drop soup? What is it? Good. What is it? Ellie wants to try some too. You were so, so cold. You still are, huh? A little bit. I am too. We tried to get the cab, and the cab came and everything. And then he said, How old are your kids? And we told him their ages, and he said, we, I can't bring you without car seats, and you don't have car seats with you, so sorry. And we were like, No! So we had to walk in the freezing cold. I have earaches now in my ears. A mile and a half. A mile and a half with all of the kids. And they are all cold too. I was pushing Charlie and I had Ellie on my shoulders and I was carrying a stroller and all the bags and the camera. Yeah. I was sweating. You were, you were working out, but I was, I was carrying James. On the, I was pushing him on his scooter because he was not doing well. You were so cold. Now you're defrosting, huh? Yes. And he's eating hot soup. Hot egg drop soup, all of them are. We're all getting warm now. That was so miserable. <laughs> I'm still even cold. I was just like, Michael, we have to stop and get some food and warm up. Too cold. We're all going to be sick tomorrow. I hope not. Where's that clue? Let's try to see if we can solve that clue while we're just kind of waiting for our food to the, the box clue? Yeah, from Mr. E. Because I have a feeling like it, it's trying to guide us somewhere else. Growing mystery of green and on brown. Green on brown. I think green on brown is trees. Yeah. I think it's like, I think that's the riddle. Like Growing. Growing mystery of trees. <gasps> what? Growing mystery of green on brown. Growing mystery of trees. Is there any place that's like the mystery of trees or something? We will you pull out your phone and we can search it? Yeah, we'll search it. That's a clue. Mystery of trees. Is there? That is over there. <laughs> Clue's over there. Oh. I just googled mystery of trees and this popped up. Trees of mystery? How far away is that? Oh, it's only two hours away? Three hours, it's three hours Three hours, we could do that tonight, or tomorrow. Yeah. We could do that tomorrow. The, that makes sense because I was like, well it says mystery, but I don't know, it's not spelled like Mr. E. It's spelled like mystery, like the normal word, not Mr. E. So that's why I was like, well, Mr. E sent it, but why is it spelled like a normal mystery and not his, Mr. E? Right. But that makes sense. The trees of mystery. And trees are growing. Isn't that like, is that the redwoods? 
I think that is in the Redwoods National Forest, yeah. Okay, well then I guess that's where we're going next. We figured it out. Oh, that was a tough one. That was You're cool. Gonna come. I think the interesting thing about that is by looking at it on top, it just looks like a maze. But then if you twist it a little bit, then it shows that it's actually tons of letters. It's so cool. They're having a yes, no head banging war. <laughs> Except I don't like it when he has his fork stuck up in his hand like this and he's shaking his head. Yeah, he keeps doing that. Scary. <laughs> Delicious Chinese food. And we are headed to the Trees of Mystery. That was a really cool clue that we figured out yesterday. Oh, but first, before we get started, I wanted to make sure and remember to tell you guys about UB Loop. We only have a limited amount of time before our trip to Haiti. It's going to be on July 19th for a week. And we're gonna be doing service down there, but we need to be able to raise some funds so these UB loops are available in beach house designs and they're so cool and they help so much. I love them, I use them all the time instead of a pop socket. You can hold water bottles and other things. They're awesome. We only need to sell 300 more. We're getting really close to our goal. Yay! So just And we have a link to UB loop now on our website. So if you go to thetreasurefamily.com, you'll see a link to UB loops from there too. And like these t-shirts that we're wearing, the beach house, or the palm trees with the flip flops over here, beach house, the beach house, to be honest, the beach house. <laughs> Anyways, if you like these shirts, you can also get them on our website. So go to our website, show us some love, and help us help other people in Haiti. fog rolling off the ocean. What a drive, what a road. All these big huge rocks are really cool. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at the fog. It's so mystical. I think we're driving into magic. Or trees of mystery. You can actually see the fog blowing over the road. You can't even see the ocean and the ocean is literally just beyond these trees. That there's fish pee in there. We don't even know where that bridge leads us to. We can't even see past it. It's all foggy. They might be leading us up a cliff and we don't know. We're almost to California. We're gonna be there in just a minute. Where are you, California? I'm coming to California with a bunch of kids on my knee. Wow. We're in the Redwoods. We made it to the Redwoods. Wow, I can't even see the top of these trees. They're so tall. And so thick. Whoa, that one's hollow with the inside. Oh, that's scary. I saw the bottom of it and I could see through to the other side, but that's at the bottom and it's this huge tree. Can you imagine one of these trees falling across the road? It would make it so no cars can go past it at all. Oh look, road closed because it fell off. It, Collapsed. This road collapsed. That's scary. We're almost there. We've arrived. Yay! Uh, this is it. This is it. Trees of mystery. Wow! Look at that. A giant. It's Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan and a blue. Does blue. anyone know the name of the blue ox? Do you know the name, Becca, of the blue ox? That I swear, once I hear it, I'll know it. What? What's the Look name of the blue ox? Whoa. You'll know it when you hear it, Becca. Okay, I didn't know that. We need to learn about Paul Bunyan. We're at Trees of Mystery. We made it, we figured out the glue. Okay guys, we made it to Trees of Mystery. Check it out, we got Paul Bunyan and Babe, the big blue ox with him right now. He's talking. The trail is this way if we want to go to the trail. 
Oh, you did. Okay, we got our hands stamped. I'm super happy about his. Check it out. Charlie, everybody put your hands right here. Show your stamps. Everybody got their hands stamped. We're ready to go adventuring. Yeah. Tell us what we're doing today. We are doing the Trees of Mystery scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunt. So we need to be looking for all of these different things and just having a good time working together as a family. Okay. And the last one that's not on this list is our next clue from Mr. E. So we're also gonna be looking for that along with all these other things. Okay, maybe after we complete the scavenger hunt, we'll find the clue we're looking for. Yeah. Awesome. I think we're at the trail entrance here, just the beginning. Hey, James and Corbin, did you guys know that I came here to this exact same place when I was 10 years old? I was 10 years old and I came to Trees of Mystery. Trail enters. Here it is. The same place I came here. Hey, look. What is that, Corbin? Elephant tree. It's the elephant tree. Guys, wait. I think that's on the Trees of Mystery thing. Is it on the scavenger hunt? I think so. Hey, look. You hear that? How many can you find? Guys, did you already see Paul Bunyan? Okay, we've already seen Paul Bunyan. Okay. He was at the entrance. And we saw Babe the Blue Ox and the elephant tree. Elephant tree! Cool. Very cool. Why do you think this is called the elephant tree, Corbin? It's like as tall as an elephant. I think it's taller than an elephant. But what about this big trunk? Does that kind of look like an elephant trunk popping out here? Maybe? I don't know. Can you crawl? Can you crawl through that? Yeah. You can totally crawl through that. Go through it, James. Whoa! That's cool. Let's keep looking. Ooh, it's creepy. It's look like mysterious. Ooh, mysterious. Upside down tree. Wow, upside down tree. Wait, let's see if that's on here. Is it on the list? Yeah! The upside down tree. Mom, they found that? Upside down, that's like from Stranger Things. Hold it. <laughs> okay, you hold that. Wow. Look at that, that's crazy, no way. This said this fallen giant sprouted 3,000 years ago. That's crazy. Oh, we found the octopus tree and nature's underpass. Okay. Here it is. You made it. Ellie had a stomach ache. So she gets to ride in the stroller. Are her pants on inside out? Yeah, she did it on purpose. She wanted to. Oh, I guess yeah, that's the style in the 2015. <laughs> so it can be sparkly. So it can be sparkly. Wow, look at this view. Becca, look at all those trees. Wow. wow that's it. Wow. It just looks so fake. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Okay, let's keep going, guys. Yeah, it's red. That's called red wood. The burl tree snapped at the burl at night during a windstorm on January 16th, 2015. Nobody heard it fall. Where is it? I think it's right there. Oh, behind? Nobody even heard it fall because there was a windstorm. The lightning tree. It's in the shape of a lightning bolt. Is the lightning tree on there? Yeah, I saw it. The Trinity cool. tree. Wow. That is so tall. Does that shot look cool? That is so crazy. Look at all that. Those are clovers. Look for four leaf clovers. You might find one and get lucky. Look, there's two of them. <gasps> what are I these? I saw one of those back by the there's wheel. Two of them. Millipedes yeah, or something? There's some type of a. Centipede. Um, you don't want to catch them. They're ugly. They found me. Yeah. They're really cute. <laughs> don't touch them, don't touch them. They're really cute. They're all over the place. Yeah, they're really cute. <laughs> they're all over the place. <laughs> okay, keep going. Wow, that's the cathedral tree. Weddings are actually performed right there. Because they're all in like kind of a half circle. That's crazy how they kind of all grew like that. It almost makes me wonder if maybe they were intentionally planted that way and preserved. A long time ago. 2,000 years ago. Wow. Or however, I don't know how old they are. That's so cool though. 
You know what? Every single time we get out and do stuff together as a family, I remember that it's good to do stuff together as a family and get out of the house. So, I encourage you guys, either if you're kids or parents or whatever, to also find something cheap or free or even just fun and exciting and go out and do it as a family. It'll be worth it, I promise. The cathedral tree is singing to us. Wow. It's like it built its own house, it just grew a house. Wait, pretend like you're singing the song. <laughs> I'm excited about this. Sky Trail? I came here when I was 10, that was 20 years ago. <laughs> They either didn't have it, or we just didn't go on it. Oh, Sky Trail gondola. Whoa! You keep slipping right down. Look at that. He's got dirt all over him. Keep going. We're doing pretty good with our scavenger hunt part. Corbin just crossed off the cathedral tree. That's where we were just singing. <laughs> and now we're headed to the Sky Trail. I actually kind of like this because Charlie can't really go off too far. What year did you come, Michael? 1996. 1996. That's a long time ago. Almost <laughs> as old as our trailer. <laughs> Not that long ago. Yeah, it was. <laughs> This looks like the Brotherhood tree. Height, almost 300 feet. Diameter, 19 feet. That is so big. Wow. That tree is a giant. Wow. It looks fake. Are you sure that somebody didn't just man make this? <laughs> That tree looks, that looks like a tree growing outside the side of a tree, but it's, it's, it's a just tree. a branch, but it's like a tree. That's so bizarre. Wow. Wow. Sky Trail. <gasps> really? Yeah. Where? It's right there. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Yeah, let's go. This reminds me of Jurassic Park. Whoa. That's so cool. This is so exciting. The next one's coming down. That's the one that we're going to be in, guys. Come on, guys! Okay, hop in as soon as the door comes to you! Woo! Hop in, Ellie, hop in, Ellie! I don't want to be able to... Good job, Michael. We made it just in time. Up we go! You're right, we are going fast. Isn't it better <laughs> just sitting in our RV doing nothing all I just hope it doesn't drop us. Oh, that would be bad. Check it out, do you see that? How that's like a stump right there and a tree's growing out of it? He was saying that most of this got cleared out about 50 years ago. That's right. And that the trees now are about 50 years old, but they just grow out of the old stumps of the trees. So even if it's cut down, they basically are still alive and growing. Alright guys, we're here. We have to get ready to hop off really fast. As soon as the door opens, we have to hop out. Go, 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 go. Wait, a little bit at a time. Where are we? We are on Ted's Ridge, which is at the top of the Redwoods, and you can see the Pacific Ocean from here. Whoa! That right there, that's the water of the oh Pacific Ocean. Oh my goodness, that is so crazy. We're that close. Guys, what if we see a dinosaur or a Bigfoot? We still have a phone the And the trees! Whoa, no way! In the trees of Mystery Forest? <gasps> Shocking. What are we gonna do? It's We've already gone through almost the whole park. Have you guys been keeping an eye out for the clue? I've been looking for anything. There's a dinosaur! Me too. Yeah. Okay, well because we're almost out of the park, I think we need to keep our eyes peeled and really look hard for the clue. Okay. How's our scavenger hunt going, Corbin? We're almost done. Really? Yeah. Oh no, go uh, faster! <gasps> we're going faster! 
We're careening out of control! Baby Cathedral Tree. Oh. We are taking reservations for weddings when this display is ready 600 years from now. <laughs> That's cool. Mom, come on! What you looking at, James? Oh, I remember this one. <gasps> really? This tree has a whole bunch of trees growing <gasps> out of it. Oh, wow! Wow, that's interesting. Those three, just the trees sticking out of the tree. What is it? Whoa! Is that a, supposed to be a baby? Baby Paul. Whoa, Ellie's riding the snake. The tail of the snake. Okay, let's go, they're leaving. Giant mosquito. We gotta get out of here, quick. Let's go. Like a giant squirrel. Oh look, a boat and a weird face man. And I love you. Hey Corbin, I love you. All right, we're all done Whoa. here. Everybody's pretty happy considering it's actually really cold out here. Check this out, we got all of the things. We did the whole scavenger hunt. We found everything. Exit to the gift shop. Look at the ceiling. There's a bald eagle and a bear. There's a horse over there. Cool, go play guys, go play. That's perfect. <laughs> That's so funny, Corbin. This is awesome, guys. Okay, we just got our food. Did you guys draw those? Wait, what? What does that say? Who drew on your paper? Me. You think somebody... At the top, at the top in blue. Did they give us used, uh, like, kids' menus? No. I'm, so. I'm the mister. Mister? Mister. Oh, it says mister right there. Right at the bottom mister. here. Mister. This they one has an E on it. Put it. Wait, 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 wait. What if they go together? Wait, wait, wait. Try Look at it. Try putting them together. Where? Lay it down on the table right here. <gasps> mister E. It says Mr. E. Right there. Do you see that? Oh. Mr. E. Get the other ones, quick. Oh, are there more? You can put that under. <gasps> no way. Read it. It makes, a, it makes a thing. Does that say something? Paul knows my secret. Mr. E. <gasps> no way. After we eat dinner, we've got to go back to Mr. To, Paul. to Paul Bunyan and ask about Mr. E. Okay, let's eat our food as quick as we can. You guys got some mac and cheese. Mike got, got some pancakes. pancakes. I got some fish and chips and some other chips. That means we better eat quick so that we can go and talk to Paul again. Whoa! All right, we're back at Paul Bunyan. Do you know anything about the man Mr. E? Yes, I saw a strange man come by here. Really? You have? Whoa! He did something here for you. He left us something, huh? What did he leave us? Look near my feet where I stand. I think I see something in those bushes. <gasps> really? Okay, let's go look. Okay, did you guys hear that? Let's look around. So the clue on the, somehow he was at the restaurant when we were here, and then when we went to the restaurant, he came here. <gasps> look right here. <gasps> he said underneath his boot, that's right. <gasps> what is that? Whoa, let's look at it. Money. Guys, it's cold outside. Let's go to the trailer there's and money. figure this out. Wow. With hundred of dollars. Yeah, there's money inside. Wow. Are you really that cold? Yes. And Corbin doesn't have a coat on. Be it. That means Mr. E was just here. That means we, when we were at the restaurant, he switched places with us and came here while we were there. Thanks, Paul Bunyan. Thanks, Bunyan. Goodbye. So we have the puzzle and now it's just a matter of figuring it out. It looks like this on the edges right here and right here. It looks like it can slide in and out, but it won't go all the way yet, so. I noticed there are bars through these and I think there's a bar there and a bar there and we have to get them both out so we can be able to slide them. Wait, is it the same thing I wonder? Do you have to spin it?
I want to try. Don't pull on it hard. That's right there. Any luck on that thing? No. Any any progress at all? No. No. Did you figure anything out? I think it has metal pieces in it, and I tried centrifugal force, but it didn't work. Okay. Do you want to try that? Slide out. Yeah, it looks like it should slide out. Yeah, it will slide out. What if they're not supposed to slide out? It won't slide out. It's a clue! Clue. It is a clue. It is a clue. There's something, a there's like, there's a little bit of give in here. Yeah. I wonder if that's really $100. I think it looks almost like it's too big to be a It looks fake because it has like an Asian writing on it or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe it will Wait. slide out. I thought I heard a weird click. Yeah, look, if I pull it out just a tiny bit, you can see a little bit of a metal reflection Bob. right here. Okay. Interesting. Which makes me... Oh. What if it's magnets holding it in place? Well then we need a magnet. I was Do like, we have I a magnet? Yeah. The reason why I think... Oh, I heard a snap. A snap. Interesting. Okay, the other battery died. We've still been working on it. I think we might be getting somewhere. Honestly, I don't I think we need a magnet because I think it just comes with the things it needs. Okay. Because that's what all of the other clues said. Do they both have the, the little metal pieces in them or just one side, do you think? I can see one in each one of these. Man, this is a tough one. It looks so simple. Is it okay if I go get like something or magnet? Someone's holding it. Corbin wanted to try using this magnet. Oh, it's a magnet! Wait, wait, wait. So there's a metal piece. Then you can see exactly where all the metal is. Slide it that way. So far it's been on this corner, this corner, this corner, and... I can't move it. Yeah, there's a magnet piece right there. Try moving that one. Why are you moving? Can the magnet... Can you move the metal? Do you want to try something with it, Becca? Oh, interesting idea. Oh, that's interesting. <gasps> I was one inside of that. Is there a movable magnet, do you think? Did you push it down on both sides? <gasps> Whoa! Wow. It worked! Look at that, that's the cool. piece of the don't lose those two metal pieces. Do you still have those, Rebecca? Yes. Okay, good. Can I help them? What's the clue? So, thing? is it real money? Can I no, help? it's fake. Fake money. Is there anything else inside of it? It says... Oh, there's a message. Russian rivers, clovers are beautiful this time of year. Mr. E. We need to search it on the internet. Russian what? rivers, clovers? Something I don't know. I'm like... Interesting. I think we got everything out of this. Oh, you just have to bang it and it makes the magnets oh, come wait, undone. Oh, because it's attached to little magnets here. Oh. Well, it's you never know which one of these are like fragile. fragile or break it or... Right. <laughs> we'll see if we can solve it. Do you guys know what the Russian rivers, clovers? Can I? Russian rivers, Russian clovers. Russian rivers, clovers are beautiful time of year. That's so cool that we got it from We Papa got it. Again. That was cool. Good morning, everybody. And good morning to my sweet Rebecca. I love you. All right, well we found a clue yesterday and now we need to figure out what Russian river clovers are beautiful this time of year. We need to figure out what that means. Hey guys, I have seen the same trailer ever since the first park we've been to, RV park, and guess what? The man in it looks like Mr. E. Really? So, this is it. That's his car. It was in the background of all the other things and the man just walked past. And in there, that's his RV. It's really weird. He looks like Mr. E. Yeah. Mr. 
E is right there. Now he's right there. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I found this here. It says Mr. E. And there's an arrow and it looks like that and Alright guys, I just got done filling the tank on this thing. Do you know how expensive this thing is to fill? Uh, it's really... <laughs> it's like over $200 to fill it up. And it was on empty, so I definitely needed to, to get some gas in it. Anyway, we're about ready to hit the road. We checked out the RV park because it was getting late. So we couldn't be there anymore. But I still don't quite know what to do yet for this clue. Because it doesn't sound familiar at all. It might just be a place that we're unfamiliar with. So I think that we should look at Russian River. I don't think that I'm I don't think we're expected to actually go to Russia. We can definitely narrow it down to about a day's drive. At least that's what it's been up until this point. So I'm gonna take my phone. Let's Google it maybe. Yes, yeah, so let's Google it. Thank goodness for Google. It makes treasure hunting I know. so easy. I know, right? <laughs> Sonoma County, California. So I know that's gotta be where it's at because we're probably close enough to that today. Okay. So Butcher Farms is located in the heart of the Russian River Valley. Russian River Valley. Sonoma County, California. Okay, well let's head there. I think we figured it out. At least I feel like that's good enough. <laughs> All right, where are we, babe? We just found a store. It's called the Legend of Bigfoot. So we are gonna go and look at it. That's right. It looks like it's yeah. having its 40th anniversary and I'm so interested. We've wanted to do a video where we're basically we're looking and we're on the hunt for Bigfoot. So that's what we're gonna do. We were actually trying to see if we could find any big, big Bigfoot museums or Bigfoot stores. And Becca found this exact place online. But we didn't realize we were gonna pass right by it. So now we're like, oh, we have to check it out. Look at it. The legend of Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Are you ready? It's a no. I got the other camera. It's a the legend of Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Tiny, tiny Bigfoot. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh my goodness. This is the Bigfoot store. What do you think? This is so boring. Boring? <laughs> the legend of Bigfoot. Carving snacks, sodas, gifts open. There he is. Bigfoot. Look at those giant feet. Ew, that's so gross. <laughs> Why would we get that? Are you gonna put that on your wall? To stare at it every day? It's so ugly. It's creepy and yucky. Don't touch, don't touch. These are carved and precious and special. Bigfoot lives apparently. Did you even think about how bad Bigfoot's feet would stink? <laughs> I've cut back to just one cup of coffee a day. That's so giant. That's I need to have this but for a water bottle. Bigfoot crossing. You found Bigfoot? No way. These are so creepy. For some reason I feel like Ryan needs this. This just fits Ryan, you know? Wow, they're so close to the road and they're so huge! Michael just said the reason why it said Russian River Clovers look good this time of year is because the city say. is Cloverdale. Alright! Ellie is helping me make cookies! We're making these muffins! We're doing them on a tray instead. Because that's all we have. Because that means do a this. Oh, and then pour it in. <laughs> okay, we just put it in the oven for 10 minutes and hopefully it will turn out really good. We're also eating spaghetti for dinner. We're licking the bowl. This is what we used to do when we were kids. And we turned out all right. <laughs> And we're watching Summer Magic on our old TV. All right guys, update. So we have arrived at the Russian River in Cloverdale. We just got parked to the RV. There's a camp spot here close to the Russian River. Everybody's dressed up in their swimming clothes and we're heading out to the river. Russian River. To the river right now to go do some playing in the water. All the kids are dressed up. 
nice. Yeah, down here in Cloverdale, much, much different weather than it was up in northern and Oregon coast. It like changed instantly, but we're a lot further off the coast right now. Now it's nice and toasty warm. It's very toasty warm, and apparently it's supposed to be 95 degrees today, and I think it's supposed to be 105 degrees tomorrow, so that's kind of crazy. Get out of here quick. Yeah, so I'm glad we're just staying here one day. Oh wow, it doesn't look like there's anybody here. This is nice. Oh, there's Oh, there might be a couple people. All right, let's go swimming. Let's see if we can find the clue for Mr. E. Can I swim, Dad? Yes, you can. <laughs> Did you see that? I saw that. <laughs> Dad, look, I think I see a frog giant in the water like that big. Whoa. Been really fun swimming around. My GoPro, it died. I should have charged it more. But I got some fun footage while it lasted. We just got done going down the river a couple times. It's kind of winds around and then we walk back. Still nothing from Mr. E yet though. I just came back to grab the camera. Hopefully we find him soon. Have you guys found any clues yet? No, no but I did find this. What is that? I don't know. Is that a bone? That looks like a bone to me. I just saw a frog swimming right by Let me see that. <gasps> yeah, that's a bone. That's an animal's bone, or I, I don't think it's a human's bone, but it looks like a vertebrae. That's cool. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Where did you find that? It was underneath the bush? Yeah. Oh. Set, picked it up, and it had a clue, and it said Mr. Wait, e in it. It does say Mr. E. Oh, whoa, that means he was just here. Yeah. Because that was not there before. These are, are marbles. I think I can solve this. Interesting, okay. Does it open up or something? I don't think so. We gotta show mom. Mom, we found the clue! Did you? Yeah. yeah. How are you guys doing? Slowly. Slowly. <laughs> One step at a time. Hey! Mr. E must have seen our other videos and known that James likes that type of a thing. Yeah. It's not a marble track though. It's like something different. Yeah. You'll have to see it. It's 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 different. You can hold um, You can hold our hand. Thank you. How do you get it to open though? I'm wondering to see if there's a marble. Hmm, it's hot out here. I think I'm getting sunburned. Should we go back to the trailer? Okay. Okay, here is the clue from Mr. E. That James yeah, found. I found. James found it. What do you think about this clue that we found? It's interesting because it looks like this. Like James's toy? It's very similar. I haven't even looked at this one Although yet. this one has a marble, but that one better. Okay. But does that one have any doors that open up or hidden hidden compartments? Nope. This, this one has a compartment on the bottom here. There's a little button that you can press, but it doesn't seem to do anything. 
so I haven't quite configured figured out yet how to get it open. What's most interesting to me is it, it's, it almost seems like, you know, Mr. E only gave us this clue. He just said, Russian River clovers are beautiful this time of year. So we went to Cloverdale and we went to the Russian River and we didn't know where to look or what to expect, but it's like this thing just appeared like right by where we already were. So the idea that he's like watching us and always one step ahead of us almost makes me think like maybe he is really somehow watching us and he's aware of like where we are and when we're there and he's able to hide things right before we get there or no. even sometimes as we're there. It's really pretty crazy actually just to think about. So, but we, no one's even seen anybody though. Like we've been thinking maybe he's close, but we haven't seen anything. You know, so I was, before that I went there and that wasn't there. You know, I think since he was the one that set up the trigger, he, he could be the one that set up the cameras in the spot that he knows where we will go. Oh. And he would set the cameras up. And as we were leaving, and going into a different place, he would turn off the camera sight and go over and put it in and come back. Interesting. Let me take a look at this thing and see what I can figure out about it. So it looks like there's a whole bunch of tracks in here, but there's no marble or anything in the tracks. And then there's this lever. Yeah. Maybe it's missing something? It will end up. Well, there's a hole at the top. Did you guys? Did you guys notice that there's a hole at the top right here? A coin! Maybe, yeah. Maybe... A coin could fit in there. Maybe you do put a coin in there. What if it's a coin holder? Maybe it's like a piggy bank, a, a cool piggy bank or something. Maybe you put the coins inside here, and then you have to maneuver the coin around the track until it gets to the bottom. And then maybe, like, if there's a coin in this bottom piece, then by pushing on this lever, maybe it'll open up the bottom or something like that. I don't know. What do you think of that? Do you know where a coin is? Yes. Okay, go get some coins. What? We searched it all the way to the laundry. No. We saw a coin all the way. Where are you going? No. There's a coin on the grass right next to our bed. Oh, okay. <laughs> that means that we better get this on our first try. We need to get our children. <laughs> look at the We may need an additional supply of coins just in case the first try we're doesn't look at the work. coin. Yeah, there's no coin in there right now, but hopefully we can get it through the maze. You could put the coin inside this. That's right. The coin goes in the top there. Yeah. Okay, I have four quarters. I was using these to do laundry the other day. That means you guys have four chances to get this thing right. Maybe each kid gets one try, except instead of Charlie, we'll do Rebecca. <laughs> Dad, I'm can I You're go just first? a big kid anyway, right? Can I go first? You wanna go first? Okay, here's one go. quarter for you. Don't, Don't lose your quarter. There's a quarter for you. Ellie gets a quarter. There's your quarter. Okay, okay Corbin's gonna go first. Okay. Oh, we lost it. My turn. That, <laughs> that lost really easy. I wanna try to see this. James lost his. On things like this, it's better if you don't go first. Sometimes it's better if you don't go first because then you get to watch Monster. other people make mistakes. Monster. My turn? <laughs> Uh, you dropped yours too. That's what James was trying to do. Wait, there's a coin. It was there was a coin I on the track. Know. I think Ellie gets the turn, babe. I'm gonna turn. Woo! She got it. It's too heavy. Oh wait. You gotta follow the track. Come on, babe, follow the track. Ah! Oh, you made it so close. Oh, really? <laughs> it fell all the way down on the first try. Dang it. Can you get him back out? Oh, you can get him back out. Oh, I sneaky, sneaky. I think the quarters are too big and they keep falling over the edges. So we're gonna try pennies and see if maybe we have better luck with some pennies. Hey, 
and we just happen to have a whole bunch of pennies. We've been working at it for a long time as you can tell. This is really, really, really hard because the pennies always keep falling out. But I've got it finally right there at the very end. All it needs to do is get it up over that green lip and land it in that blue basket. And then I'll be able to push it in and that'll unlock the, the bottom part by pushing this in. So let me see if I can get it in here. This is going to be really, really hard. I might not even get it. But I just wanted you guys to see it in case I am able to get it in the basket. Okay, now that gives me a pressure point that when I push on this knob, it releases the bottom. Oh, wow! So you can get all the treasure and the clue in the bottom. Yeah, place. and we made all that treasure because we put all those pennies in there. And coins. <laughs> Look at how many tries. Let's take these papers. That's how many tries. A lot we of these had. Were, re were redone anyway. We got the clue. This is my first time on this whole treasure hunt getting to solve a clue myself. That was so cool. There's the message from Mr. E and it looks like... Does that not say anything on it? No, I think the clue might be inside this note right here. It is. It is. Okay. It says, just as you help this message escape this orb prison, your next clue is trapped at a world famous island prison. <gasps> island prison? Azkaban. Azkaban? <laughs> it's from Harry Potter. Is that Azkaban real? I don't think there really is an is, island prison called Azkaban. There is an island prison. I think you're thinking of Alcatraz. Alcatraz! Alcatraz. Maybe we have to go to Alcatraz. <gasps> Alcatraz. And to find the next clue at Alca Alcatraz. <laughs> That'd be cool! Oh, and it's so one. Solve it. Okay, let's put the bottom back on and you guys can keep playing with it. That's so cool. That was a hard one to solve. And that must mean while we were gone swimming or playing in the river that they, that Mr. E came and dropped that off. I don't even know where did he drop it off. I didn't see. It was under like a tuft of grass right by the water, right by the bank of the water. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I came back and then you guys were like, we found it! And I was like, where was it? <laughs> That's so cool. That was a I really cool it. one. Awesome. And we have a huge shout out to Aaron for finding the treasure in Coos Bay at Mingus Park. Congratulations, Aaron. Kids, it's morning time. It's time to go eat the road. I just realized that we are all out of cereal. Oh, Basically, yeah. we're, just that's all we ate. we're just getting up and getting ready for the day. Because we don't have cereal, that means no breakfast. And that means a little bit of chaos right now. But we're trying to be good. Everybody's trying to do their best. Mom found a, bit, a single bagel. We'll be cutting it into fourths. It's like the bean that you slice into tiny slices. <laughs> the Mickey Mouse <laughs> I was thinking that too. We, we need to go shopping. Yeah. I think we're ready to head out to the famous prison island today. You guys want us to leave you there on the prison island? Is that a bad idea? Because <laughs> then we'll never get out. We never find out mysteries without you. That's true. We won't leave you guys yeah. there. We're just going to explore and learn stuff today. I think I'm starting in on a head cold. I had to go in the back and take a little bit of a nap. Michael's been driving this whole time. Apparently, we're almost to the Golden Gate Bridge. That's pretty exciting. I've never been here before. So I had to come up and stop taking a nap so that I could film it and we could all see it. I can see the bridge! Unless that's not the bridge. That might be a different bridge. Oh! oh. I like that one. Oh, <gasps> There's the Golden Gate oh, Bridge! Oh, Holy oh, cow! Oh, oh, look at that right out of the tunnel! Wow! I'm glad I didn't so turn cool. off the, the camera. That's cool. Oh wow. my goodness. Are we gonna go on it? Are we gonna go on it? Cool, Golden wow. Gate National Rec Area. This, I have to say, this is one of those situations where you've seen it on TV a hundred times, 
Yeah. And picture. But seeing it in real life is like, wow, it's so Yeah, different. it's huge. Now we just said, We got another rental van because yeah. we're going to be here in San Francisco, I think, for a few days. We wanted to be able to have a vehicle to get around. And we're ready. We're off. It's time for this adventure to begin. Are you excited? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to go. We're going to go to the Ghirardelli Square. Do we want to start with that? It's a dessert thing, so we should we'll probably end get with real that. food. <laughs> Next one, I'll sing a song from. This is just a cool place. Those are houses out on the water. And look in front of us, you'll see traffic. You know what I see when I when I'm when I drive into like San Francisco or Seattle? Yeah. The only thought that comes to my we mind go is to Seattle. Salt Lake is not that big of a city. Yeah, that's a really good point. I always think of it as being really big and huge, but... But really when I look at this, big. I'm like, no, this is a big city. This yeah. is big, not Salt Lake. Salt Lake is tiny. That's true. It's like a tiny town. We come from the small town of Salt Lake City. <laughs> Actually, um, I'm definitely a small town girl. I came hey. from a very small town. Like 3,000 people is all that there had, that there are in the place where I grew what? up. So, that's a small town compared to Salt Lake City. This is a really weird building with those strange half balcony things that aren't really balconies and they just look like peeled off pieces of the building. The knockoff version of the Golden Gate Bridge. It's called the Bay Bridge and it's double stacked with roads. Uh -huh. A giant bow and arrow! Look over there, a gold man dancing on a box! Oh. This reminds me of Venice Beach. <laughs> Check it out. My proudest moment. I just took him from the car seat when he was asleep to his stroller and he's still yeah. asleep. All right, let's go check out the chocolate factory. Yay! We got close enough. I know we're supposed to be going to Alcatraz right now, but I just wanted chocolate. Are we gonna eat some chocolate from the chocolate factory? Uh, <laughs> yes. I feel like this is the worst time to go to the chocolate factory because we're all like, kind of hungry. Well. Oh, and hungry. It's kind of like worth the sacrifice. <laughs> so I don't care if I'm sick because it's Ghirardelli Square, so. <laughs> that's a cute little apron with pockets. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Oh my goodness, hot fudge sundae. <gasps> Wait. Uh, what? That's Alcatraz. <gasps> that's Alcatraz. <gasps> oh, it is. <laughs> I was like, no, it's not. Cool. 
can see it really clear from That's me. so cool. You know, I have binoculars. We should go down on that bench after and look at it. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, come on. Oh my goodness. I can smell the sugar in the air. Uh, yes, go get one. They're like, <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's my favorite kind. I got about five minutes ago. They're complaining that they're so sick and now they're eating sugar. You know what? It's worth it. <laughs> we need to get some real food. Seriously. I know we need real food, but here is real food. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, thank, you. thank you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they are stashed down for later. Is it yummy? I think it's probably yucky, huh? Is that disgusting? Are you sure? Finland. It's the most wonderful place in San Francisco. With the candy all over and sugar to plunder. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's the most wonderful place in San Francisco. How do you like my song? Beautiful music. Thanks. I think we're gonna come back there and get that thing. It's sad, but we're not getting anything because we're gonna come back and get something after we get real food. And James said, then we'll get another sample. So this is cool. What are these magnetic blocks? Do they go together? Together. Ooh, cool. Whoa. That's weird. You just found that on the ground? I don't know why or what it means or anything. That's weird. It's just a weird card. It's really shiny and makes me like it <laughs> just because it's shiny. <laughs> All right, let's go with that. The wind's blowing you away, huh? Oh no! Well, we have Charlie all wrapped up. He's literally sleeping. I hooked my hood up here and tied it around the back of the stroller. Oh, he was. He's sleeping pretty well. Come back up here. That is Alcatraz Island. Come here, guys. James, come here. That island right there. That is the prison. That's that giant island out there. Do you see that island all the way out there, guys? That's Alcatraz. That's the prison. This is as close as we can get to Alcatraz Island because all of the tours ran out. We tried to get uh, tickets to go to on a cruise on a little boat to go over there and then get a tour of the island. But I guess that Mr. E didn't realize that they would be sold out for months. So we can't get out there, but we're as close as we can get right now. So if Mr. E is watching us right now, that means that he's probably figured out that we can't get out there and he's probably left a clue somewhere closer for us to find. Okay, let's look all around. You guys are coughing a lot. Put your coats on. Guys, I found something. What? <gasps> Mr. E? No way. Dad, he found it. How did you know we were going to be here? What is it? Mr. No, just Mr. E. Here's the key. That's an interesting no, like, I think that's, key. I think that's for the um, uh, escape in key from the jail. Oh. For the prison. <gasps> yeah. Oh. From the prison, right? Maybe? I found it. That's no, interesting. It was in a bag and laying right here. I was thinking yeah. of Charlie and I saw that bag, but I didn't look at it. I just saw it was trash. Yeah. I didn't even like, look at it once or twice. I just saw it. So it's a good thing you were looking for it. Yeah, or else we wouldn't have even found it. I bet other people probably just thought it was trash too. Yeah. Right by it. Wow. Well, then we need to save that. Don't lose that. That must mean that there's got to be a second part, which is a lock that the key goes to or something. I'm not sure where it would be, but we got to keep our eyes open so that we can find it, whatever it is. You guys, you found a tiny kid bench and you're all sitting on it perfectly. James, you're almost too big for that. Are you growing up or something? That's perfect, you guys. You fit in it perfectly. Wow, look at these things we have. I'll bring more. Oh, thank you. Oh, man.
All right, guys, that's it for San Francisco. I think it started getting late and cold, and we just had to get going, so. Way too much ice cream and chocolate. Way too much ice cream and chocolate. So we're back at the van. Uh, let's get everybody loaded up. We still haven't found anything that the key might go to. So how did you guys like today? Yeah, I found the clue. You did find the clue. You got caramel on your shirt because you ate so much chocolate. <laughs> Both of you guys ate so much chocolate. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Ghirardelli Square, but they will hand out chocolate samples of like the free. caramel, for the free. caramel one for free over and over again. The big normal sized Ghirardelli squares. How many samples did you guys get? I got three. Five? Did you really get five samples? Well, have you guys been looking around for treasure all day? I already found this one. Here's the key. That's a really interesting looking key. All right, I think it's time to go. Becca, how do you get this thing to hold up? Here, let me do it. All right, time to go, guys. You ready? <gasps> Just, what? No way! What the? Corbin, quick, bring the key! What is that? Oh my goodness. Get their faces. What? <gasps> oh. There was lots of people here. There was a lot of people here though. What is that team moving right now? What is that team moving right now? That could be. Oh, I think I can't turn it. A weird big lock and a little lock that what it's locked that? into with a little keys, but. On the back, on the back. I don't think on these keys back. can get in. Let's bring it in the van and then let's get going. Maybe we can look at it later. Let's you had me at gelatinous zooplankton. Everywhere you look at that bed. Okay, my nose is all red. I need tissues. Oh, I have makeup all over my face. So, we just found that treasure chest. We haven't gotten a chance to look at it yet. We were getting ready to leave when we found it to go look at the full house house. That's where we're headed to, right? Now, after that, we're gonna go home and we will take a look at the treasure chest and see how we can open it. And that lock looked really weird. I don't know how easy that's gonna be. All I know is Corbin put in the key and tried turning it and it didn't unlock it. Because oh, really? I didn't even see you do that. Because there was a code. There's a code? There's some, some type of a knob, a dial. Maybe there's a code that goes with it. I don't know. Maybe. Well, then we have to try and fiddle with it more. So far that's been successful. <laughs> Maybe stuff. So these streets are super big. Oh, look at that house. That's so cool looking. I wonder how old it is. 1791. What? Is that what it said? It's, uh, it's You're making it, it words. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. That was a cool looking house. These roads are so steep everywhere. Everywhere we're driving, it's like super steep, which reminds me of the Princess Diaries. Oh, and look at how cute that is. That house is so cute. I want tours of like this, the oldest look how houses. Steep this one is. Wow. So this is how steep it is. That outhouse. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go to the bathroom in that outhouse. It was tipped like that. <laughs> <laughs> but that shows you how steep these roads are. But I was gonna say, you know, they can get away with it here. Oh, look at how cute that old house is! I love the old ones because I feel like they're more unique. Anyway, what was I saying? They can get away with it. <laughs> they can get away with these super, super steep streets everywhere. Oh my goodness, this one is so steep because they don't. <gasps> I just feel like I'm gonna flip backwards. <laughs> This is really steep. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh, I can't even see above our... Come here. They can get away with it because they don't have snow here. <laughs> if they had snow here, even at one point during the year, they would just not be able to survive here at all. It would be so horrible. <laughs> Good thing Utah's pretty flat. Because when it snows... Utah's not flat. Like, for the most part, it's pretty flat. I guess where flat. people live, it's flat. Yeah. I could never have a stick shift. <laughs> It'd be impossible Ooh. to drive anywhere here with a stick shift. It is seriously scary. Oh, these houses, they're starting to look more and more like the full house house. Milkman and the paper boy and the something TV. <laughs> I am so good at that. <laughs> Whatever happened to okay, something, something, something. Milkman and the paper boy 
It's a dude TV. Here it is. It's over here on the right. Really? It's just right here on the right. Oh, oh, everywhere you this look, way, every seventeen oh nine. That's the full house house. Oh, but do 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 do. We hear you all day long. I think they're like we hear you singing outside oh. of our house. We're probably sick of it. <laughs> These houses are just beautiful. It makes Daddy, me happy mom, to mom, sing mom, it. Mom, so mom. don't be annoyed with me. Just embrace the awkward mm -hmm. and no. be happy. And you no. know what? You could sing with me too. I know you want to. Go ahead. Let your inner Daddy, child mom, out. Mom, mom, That's mom, right. Mom, mom, mom. Oh, everywhere you look, everywhere there's a place and nothing and somebody who needs you. Mom, mom. Everywhere you look. When you're lost out there and you're all alone and somebody's waiting to carry you home Everywhere you look Everywhere you look Everywhere you look Everywhere you look Okay guys, we're home from our fun-filled family adventure today Sadly, we're all a little bit worse for wear it's I actually hurting me to talk right now. I've got a sore throat that's been coming on slowly all day long. We went grocery shopping. As you can see, we've got a bunch of much needed groceries. I know that's not what you're interested in hearing about. You guys want to see is this right here. The latest thing from Mr. E. Looks like this is a souvenir from the California Redwoods. What's interesting to me is we've got this box here. It's just a regular box. And on the front of the box, we have two locks. <laughs> Wait, we got a big lock see? and a small lock. Well, what's most interesting is we've got some keys right here, and I can only assume that these keys go to this small lock. The I problem is, see. because of the way that it's, it's situated on here, it's impossible to unlock the small lock while the keys are still connected to the big lock. So that leads me to believe that <laughs> the only way we're gonna be able to get the keys to unlock the small lock is by first unlocking the big lock, which I think this key that we found earlier goes to the big lock. With that being said, James is gonna do the honors and he gets to be the one to unlock it. Is it turning in there? It's not turning at all? Let's do the tiny lock. Maybe it's not the right key. No, I know it's the right key. How do you know? Because I just know that the key lock looks the very same as it looks similar to the key so it's good to do it i know that it's the, the right lock so. so the key's going all the way in but it doesn't seem to want to turn i know earlier corbin was saying maybe this is a combination or something that you have to do and i don't know maybe if that's the, true hey can you i think i know what um, you have to count the bumps on the lock and then let's, put the number up on let's the just bump. We around. can do it. It can do it. Mm. And do it. <laughs> Charlie's optimism is fantastic. Can do it. At one point, it's really hard to get it into the spot. Maybe I you, think that's the spot I need to go into. Really hard to turn it at that spot. Hey, I saw a stone. Hey. Corbin's turn to give it a try. And I can Maybe it, first I should turn it and then put the key in. But or you should turn it while the key's in it. Maybe it's... Whoa! It's opening a tiny bit. Look. Ellie, do you want to give it a try? Yeah. Okay, Mama gets her triumph to try it. Allegar H. Zogi 7 Levers. That's weird. And somebody smells hey. poopy under the table. Maybe you could do seven. Charlie. Seven. Well, Are you poopy, Charlie? I can make uh. a pizza. <laughs> like a can pizza. Make I can make a pizza. Are you trying to change the subject? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can make a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> ah, it gets yeah. so tight at some points. It does. 
It's only at the number one. The word is scratching and pulling. And tell us what pass is. Whoever you are, Mr. E. <laughs> You're watching. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Help us. <laughs> He's like, Help us. no. This is a challenge for your family. Patience, your wit, and your ability to work together. Blah, blah. No. <laughs> Take it back. Take I it know, back. Me too. I'm just kidding. Uh, send us treasure. Okay. I think I know how you do it. James yeah. was on to an interesting idea earlier. What if it's one of those locks that you have to put it one way and down and down again and over and then up, up, up? And over and down I know what you're in the about. escape rooms. I know what and you're then about. you can be able to turn the key. I saw it go okay. straight up. <gasps> that's what I was talking about. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's, oh my, that's what I was talking about. Is, that, is there something underneath? <gasps> Another keyhole? What? This is a decoy keyhole. Ah! But how can they ditched us? Ditched? The Okay, peace and harmony. <gasps> I got it! <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Good job! That was so cool! It was a oh my god! Hey, and we are all hey, and we are all quiet! That's what always happens! That's right! So the trick is be quiet and we'll be able to solve it! Let's open this one. Okay. Okay. I think this one's gonna be easier than the last. There we go. What? What's the note say? You must spend the night. <gasps> listen, listen, listen. Whoa, you must spend the night at a children's museum. <gasps> Clue is found after dark, Mr. E. Whoa. He gave us candy. <laughs> We're gonna eat wait, some. No, 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 wait, no, wait. is it a temptation? I think it's a trial to see if we'll give in. Because if you guys are sick, then you need to not eat candy. It smells like the box. It smells like a wood. It's, <laughs> it's already kind of a woody, open. kind of a smell. It smells, it smells like the California open. redwood. <laughs> cedar. Yum. This is a cedar box, wow. Fancy. Yeah, it really is. Cool. Nice. So we're going to the children's museum. At night. We have to spend the night. 24 there. hours tomorrow. 24 hours in a children's museum okay. comes tomorrow. Awesome. And then we'll get the next clue only if we stay the night.
checking out the upstairs. This place is pretty big. They've got a lot of really fun exhibits. The kids have been having an absolute awesome time. What a view, huh? They've got a carousel out there and we're in the middle of San Francisco City. What is this? Ooh, sketch town. I think you can make drawings and then it puts your drawing on the projectors. That's kind of cool. That is really fun. We can actually also control it. Looks like they're doing a bunch of construction on this side of the building. We've been here for a long time already. It's actually uh, starting to get closer to the end of the day even. I'm pretty hungry. All we brought was snacks. I think I'm ready to eat some of those because we had breakfast before we got here, but that's all we've had so far. Another observation deck. It's the same thing. Look. Whoa. See? Same thing. That's where we were before down there. My favorite thing is building stuff. Let's go do a challenge. Alright, what's your card say? You are deep in outer space. You must get to safety fast because you only have enough oxygen to breathe for five more hours. What do you do? Okay, so you're gonna get one of these boxes. Whatever's inside the box, you're gonna make an invention for that, okay? You guys wanna try it? So you have to use the box to make shoes for space travel. Here, Corbin. Keep that. Keep the card. A bedroom for a monster. Here you go. You gotta make a bedroom for a monster. Go over there with mama. Is there anything in there to make space shoes, Corbin? Uh, you might be able to make space shoes. This whole table is made out of cardboard. And these chairs are made out of cardboard. Okay, Ellie, are you gonna be able to make a bedroom for a monster? Ooh, that's interesting. Charlie, you have to build a race car. A race car. A race car. What did you make, Corbin? Space shoes. Space shoes? So where does the foot go? This foot goes in here. Uh-huh. One foot goes in one hole. Oh, okay. You can pick it up and then put your foot in there and then put it down. Cool, dude. Good job making space shoes. Are you done, Ellie? Yeah. Show me what you made. It's a bed for the monster. The a, blue monster. A bed for the monster? I mean, the... Yellow monster. Okay, so how does it work? Where does it where does it sleep? Is that our pillow? Yeah, and he sleeps straight. These are feet. So the feet have pillows too? Yeah. Does this monster have big feet and he needs pillows for his feet too? Yeah. That's cool, Ellie. Can I give it back to them? Yeah, good job. All right, Ellie told them about her project and now she's putting it on display here in the window. Good job. Whoa! That's so cool! That is awesome. What is this? The rockets and I'm gonna take them right there. Awesome! Tell us, what is it? These are the wings and the air bag and the rocket blasters. Rocket blasters. That's so cool. They were running out of air so we had to add in some an air bag. That is so awesome. Those rocket blasters, that is cool. Awesome. I guess it's time to clean up all of our stuff and head to where Corbin and Michael and Charlie are. <laughs> all right, I've been having a little bit of fun.
And now we're on the outside part of the Children's Museum, which is just a big playground. Woo! Nice job, James. Woo, there's Corbin. Hey, Charlie, you made it. Good job, dude. <laughs> yeah, you were laying down. Good job, buddy. Good job, dude. Here he comes. Woohoo! Oh, boing. Was that fun? Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Here comes Corbin. Sideways, backwards. Oh, boing. <laughs> What's next for the Children's Museum party? Yay! Are you excited? Yeah! Yeah, they have some cool things here. You wanna go on this one? Yeah! You want on that pony? Okay, here. Are you excited? Yeah! <laughs> okay. It's almost gonna start. That's a clue. I need Corbin to read this. Corbin, come here. What is it, James? There's a shark in there and a surfer. The day has finally arrived. What do you think it's gonna mean? Good morning everybody, welcome to the beach house. I've got boogers in my eyes because I just woke up. And this is how I wear my hair when I sleep. My sister taught that to me when I was very young because her hair is really thick. But I started doing it because I like having my hair off of my neck when I sleep. It's really long so it gets kind of tangled and nasty if I don't do that. Anyways, welcome to the beach house. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on the laundry situation. And yesterday, yesterday was Sunday. We did not go to church. We were in San Francisco and we were at a an RV park that was kind of sketchy. It scared me. I didn't even want the kids to play outside of it, so we were slightly uncomfortable at that last place. And then we had an ant infestation. It went overnight. We got home after being at the Ghirardelli chocolate place and there were ants everywhere. 
everywhere. And I was like, no, I hate guys. So I cleaned up everything as much as I could. And then in the morning, they were back and they were everywhere. And we were out of propane. That place was so sketchy that typically on a Sunday, we would stay, stay in the place where we are and we would go to church and just relax. But we had to leave. So anyways, we left and we came to a new beautiful place and that's where we are right now and we just stayed home and we're all sick anyway and trying to get over it Charlie, Charlie, I'm talking to the camera right now huge awesome thing that happened we got our water heater to work and this whole time we've been without hot water I love you too we get all the kids baths and I got a bath slash shower thingy because it has a step, so here's the shower head, but it doesn't really work. So I just sat underneath here because there's like a little step, and I got a bath slash shower, and I was so happy because of it, because I can just be self-reliant, and I don't have to run outside of the trailer and find a shower house in each of the different places we're staying. And I could just get a nice hot shower. And then, while the kids were getting baths, I did laundry. This is the laundry situation right now. It looks like a booby trap from the parent trap. <laughs> are you thirsty or something, Charlie? Yeah, like when, okay. and when. Over here, those are Ellie's and Charlie's clean clothes. And it just goes up to the air. It has been much cooler on this trip so far than we anticipated, so I don't have as many warm clothes, so I have to rewash those more often. Anyways, that's the update. It's time to get out of here. We gotta get ready for the day, clean up, and head to our next destination, which sounds like it's gonna be surfing. However, we've all had colds and the ocean is not warm. So we'll see if we'll actually get to surf today. Um, and we're gonna find <coughs> Mr. E's treasure. And then yeah. it's gonna be eyes. Oh, I still have a head cold. Anyways, I was gonna say the best and the worst thing probably about living in this trailer is that it gets dirty really fast, but it also cleans up really fast. Okay. Everybody's eating breakfast, laundry's put away, vacuumed a little bit. Corbin vacuumed for me. Yeah. Huh. I did all the work. Put the rugs back down. We got breakfast going for everybody. Seriously, this place cleans so fast. It really it does. Matter. How just start disgusting it is. Yeah. And like 10 or 15 minutes, spotless. Yep, and look, all clean. And I got these new organizational baskets at Target for all of our fruit. Car seats are up, ready to go. We're just gonna open up these curtains, let some light in so we can see when we're driving to. Lock the door, we always have to lock the door right before we leave so the door doesn't accidentally swing open. We also have to make sure these skylight things are closed. That one's closed, that one's closed. There's another one in here. That one's closed good. and that one's closed. That's a pretty good cleanup and we only worked for maybe half an hour tops. So much easier than cleaning a giant house at home. Corbin was just having a breakfast conversation with James and said, wait, I think I know what RV stands for. Run van! <laughs> okay, so James found the clue at the children's museum yesterday. But all it said was that it was time to go to the beach, right? That's what we determined. Since we don't really know which beach to go to or where on the beach we're supposed to look, we're just gonna go to a beach. And I think that at this point, it seems like Mr. E is pretty much just like totally aware of us. So maybe if we just go to like a random beach, the clue will just show up there. So that's kind of what I think might happen. So let's just go to the beach and see what happens. Okay. While Michael was driving earlier today, I said, Stop, I want to go get avocados and fruits there on the side of the How road. How much was it? Eight for a dollar? Yeah. This one's only seven for a dollar. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> and I was like, Go, I want to go. And he's like, Oh, I can't because we were going too fast on that road. But he kept an eye out. And even though I was sleeping in the back while he was driving, he still. Stopped. He kept an eye out. He found one. So I'm gonna go out and get some fruit. Kiwi seven for a dollar. Oh, I'm so excited. Back 
back from the store. Corn? Strawberries? So much fresh stuff. Wow. Oh my God. Is that Corn exciting? Dogs. That's a really good thing. <laughs> they cute? Can I? This is how we used to buy strawberries growing up. In these little baskets. Do you remember that? I do. It was never in the ones that they have nowadays. It was always in this In those little green baskets. Yeah. That's great. Okay, Dad's putting in the radio. <laughs> he got another radio because whenever we try to turn on or off our old radio, it just doesn't listen. It just ignores what we do. Oh, I could turn it off just fine. Yeah, but I tried turning it off and it didn't. That's because it only listens to me. <laughs> no, I got this because I wanted to be able to connect it to my phone. So this actually has Bluetooth. It has a microphone so he can do phone calls. That way when I'm driving, I can talk on the phone and not have to. We have a new radio. It's almost That's put in. Crazy. Wow. And it's also Bluetooth. So actually, on the box, it says 13 bands, if you can see that. So I've got all the connections put together back here, even though it's not mounted in the wall. What if it just immediately turns on and is playing a rock and roll song? Oh, I disconnected something because I didn't want to have any issues when I was working on it. Uh -huh. So I disconnected the fuse that gives it power. So he's putting it in now. <gasps> It's working! My handsome electrician man. <laughs> oh, what? we don't know if it works yet. We don't. <laughs> okay. crab salad for lunch and it's super yummy the house is dirty again like usual but we are at our new location and I am loving it so far not all these places have plenty of space for the kids to play in and that's the hardest thing because sometimes it's just in the trailer and that's pretty much all the space we have but today we have an awesome setup this is like a little mini yard right here. And it's actually a pretty good sized little yard for a trailer. So I told the kids not to go past this white pole. And of course, Charlie, Charlie, do you see this? Do you see this white pole? You're supposed to stay over here on this side. So this is our setup, which is very, very helpful to keep the kids in their own little space. Okay, we just got done playing at the park and now we are headed to the beach. We're gonna go and see anything we can about surfing. I don't think we're gonna have time to do that today. And plus it's kind of cold, but we're gonna go and at least look at the beach and play and see what we can do there. And look for another clue, because we we haven't been able to find one yet. Let's go to the beach. Each, let's go get away. Eight, let's say, let's go get away. What you gonna do, huh? I can already tell we're getting close to the beach. We're so close to the How beach. How do you tell? How can you know? <laughs> this is so exciting! We haven't really had a sunny day at the beach yet. You know that? That's right. It's always been rainy or cold or freezing. So this is gonna be nice. That's a bad, bad thing. Don't pee at you. <laughs>
plus it's getting dark and it's cold outside and my kids need a bath. You're soaking wet, dude. I am not soaking wet. Yes, you are soaking wet. Okay, guys, time to go, let's go. I noticed a few people have been walking on this beach, but we still haven't found any clues or anything from Mr. E yet. Guys, the way back is this way. You're going the wrong way. What is it? What? No, what is it, guys? We just saw this hole dug up here. Just a hole? We just saw it as we were walking away from the beach and look what we found. What the heck? Hey, is that a crystal? It says Mr. E on it. Oh, whoa. Wow, it does say Mr. E. What is that? It's just some type of wooden hey. string. Charlie, can you grab it? Grab it, Charlie. Grab it, buddy. He's so cold. I got it. Good. Thanks, buddy. Here we got it. Whoa, it's like it got a bottle in it. Yeah! It's like a message in a bottle. Yeah, but yeah there's a note inside. It I can see it. Right there. That's okay, so cool. Let's grab it. Charlie is freezing cold. Let's grab it and head back, get fast, and figure out this clue. Okay. I can't believe we found it. That's such a cool place, too. Mr. E must have made it. Yeah. We got a little Ewok here. Freezing, so I took off his wet shirt and sacrificed my sweater to the sand. Charlie, are you a little Ewok? No. No? Just just a cute baby? Yeah. Okay, keep going. What's up, James? Hey guys, while we were finding the clue, I saw a drone hovering over us. It looked like it had a camera and on it, and, and it looked like as I was coming back, I saw it coming over, and then I saw it go there, go there, and then I saw it go down. And it was right around here. I wonder if Mr. E's passed this area. I thought Mr. E was watching us with it. Oh, whoa. That's crazy. All right, guys, we're back in the RV. The chaos and crazy of going to the beach has subsided, and we actually just got showers. All the kids are all washed. I even got cleaned up. You did? I got a shower, uh, too. I'm the only one left nasty and dirty. I just still need a shower. Charlie's all warm in his towel. Much better now, huh? And without any ado, James is working on this puzzle. He's trying to see if he can solve how to get this thing open. Trying to push this ball in, but this rope is too tight. Yep, the ball doesn't go through there, I'm afraid. I love all these puzzles! They're so fun! You do? In the escape room, I saw this exact thing. I should have paid tried attention. To open it. <laughs> oh, open yeah. Tried oh open it. So here we are. Let's get a closer look. It says Mr. E. And it's this wooden box with a b glass jar and a lid on top. It's got a rope holding it shut. And we have to try to, I guess, we have to try to get this piece off, but we can't get this off. Wait, wait, this wait, stop. Line. I found it. I think you I did. I think Good I job. Can... <sighs> you ready to take a stab at it? Yeah. Yeah, Charlie? <laughs> Well, James just recently started trying to figure out how to get this contraption off the what end. What we need to do is get this little tiny ball to go in. Somebody grab a hammer. <laughs> well, all this beach fun time and puzzle solving is making me have a... Somebody get the scissors! That will solve it. No, that's not the right idea. <laughs> We have to solve it the right way. Okay, so this is a separate piece altogether. Yeah, I think Wait. you're right. <laughs> we did something. Maybe Interesting. We'll this part is what we need to get off, right? Mm -hmm. yep. So that we can get that up. This up so, so we can... I swear I've seen other people do stuff like this. I just can't remember how they did it. Yeah. It's really hard. I'll update you guys once we make a breakthrough, I think. Because <laughs> this might be a while.
Are you having a good time making dinner? Steak and corn on the cob. Meanwhile, as you have seen, James and the kids have been working on solving this thing. Yeah, and they don't want to turn, so I've just been working, and I was doing this. And I think he's almost figured it out. <gasps> he got it. <laughs> Good job, James. That was a hard one. Wow. Oh, wow. That's it, right? <laughs> I think it's just that note. Do you remember in Captain Hook when Mr. Smee is like... <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to read this for you? I can. You mean in Peter Pan? Yeah, I can. It says... Alright, Corbin, read it loud. It says, I hope you pack your flux competitor. Travel back to the age of dinosaurs. Who at Dinosaur Caves Park? What? Whoa! Dinosaurs. I want to read it. It says, I hope you packed your flux capacitor. Travel back to the age of dinosaurs. Clue at Dinosaur Caves Park. Ooh. Are we going to travel back in time? What do you think, James? Did we bring it? Cool. What do you think, baby? Flux capacitor, did you flux pack it? Capacitor, I just don't know if I got that one. Oh no, we have to go back in time to so the what dinosaurs. It? It says Dinosaur Caves Park? Yeah, clue at Dinosaur Caves Park. Let's search it. Okay. This is the best thing we got. I guess that's where we're going tomorrow. What do you think about that drone today? Oh, that was really strange. Yeah, James said he saw a drone. I never saw it, but it could yeah, be. Yeah, I saw it. Have, I, have we Corbin seen a drone too? before? Like at the things we're doing? Have we I even saw been the drone too. I haven't been even paying attention. I saw the drone too. Okay, well I think that concludes today's adventure. We had so much fun at the beach. We found a, a bottle <laughs> on the ocean <laughs> and solved the clue for so Mr. Cool. E. And tomorrow we're going back in time to the age of the dinosaurs. Like okay, let's search it. Like it. Today it's getting hotter and hotter as we go further and further south. Oh. All we have is cool clothes, so it's nice that it's actually been nice and hot outside. Yeah. As we go further south, the beaches are getting more beachy and less coasty, if that makes sense. California coast. When I think of the coast, I think of like all the rocks and the cliffs of Oregon and Washington, Northern California, but now as we're going further south, it's getting like more of like surfy and sand and, and it's just more fun. The beach house is here in California. We drove for a couple hours and we're hitting the beach. I've looked up where this like dinosaur cliff, what's it called, dinosaur cave park or whatever. We're, we're pretty close to it right now, but we decided to take a little bit of a break. We're here at the RV resort, and this place is really, really nice. We're right across the street from the playground, and there's a pool and a hot tub. They actually have movies on a big projector screen right behind the pool area tonight. Oh, really? Every night they have a different oh, movie really? playing. Tonight is the Sandlot. Ooh, that would be so fun. So if we wanted to go see it, we could just go out there and watch it. Charlie boy, are you ready to go play? Getting your shoes on? That's all of our sandy sweaters from going to the beach we the other day. Laundry. <laughs> By the way, they have 24 hour laundry and it's available and you can use credit cards to run it. So that's a lot easier. I think I will be doing laundry tonight. We need to do all of it. Do all of it? Okay. Right. Cool. I got my shoes on. Can I go outside and play? Yeah! Yay! <laughs> can you open the door? Whee! The park is right over here. Run, little Charlie, run! Ooh, Mama brought a picnic. I want one. Thanks, babe. You're so cute. This is dessert. Ooh. Ooh. All righty. What a beautiful day. It is a gorgeous day. Corbin, tell everyone what you learned how to do today. I learned how to swim without my life jacket. Woohoo! Ready? Set. Go! Good job! 
You're doing really good. Now it's just time for some more practice, huh? And then you'll have it down really good. I've been practicing all day. That's so good. Good job, Corbin. Here's his floaty. It's been sitting here. It's completely dry. And James has been swimming for a while now. He's just having fun. Ellie and Charlie both have their life jackets on and they're floating around on this side of the pool. He's just trying to get me wet. He did that earlier. <laughs> Here's Charlie and Ellie. They're just playing. Charlie, don't run. Don't run. Woohoo! You did it! Good job! what I got? I got the best dessert ever. A giant cookie. But this is only for those who eat all their pizza. I think it might be. Uh. Barbecue chicken. <laughs> My favorite. With cilantro? Does that look yummy? I don't like cilantro. Cilantro. Ah, that's okay. I'll eat it. I'm hungry. Let's dig in. This is so cool. We're almost here. Look at that. Wow. Let me know if you guys see any dinosaurs. Oh yeah, look at that rock. It's full of an uh, birds. Oh yeah, I see a park that has some animal, sea animal, yeah, whales. A dinosaur. A dinosaur? A tiny bit. Oh, I see dinosaur. the dinosaur too, Ellie. <gasps> Laura, 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 Laura. Oh yeah, I see one. Dinosaur Caves Park. Look at that. Dinosaur Caves Park, city of Pismo Beach. 
Whoa! We found it! I found it! Good job! Oh, that's so cool. Okay, we're gonna have to get some warmer clothes on, I'm afraid. You guys are a little bit too... Underdressed? Yeah. <laughs> we might be going to the beach, but that doesn't mean that it's warm at all. Okay, we're here. You gotta look both ways before you cross the street. Okay. Have you guys found anything yet? No, not yet? Dinosaur Caves Park. This is exciting. I wonder if they actually like have any real dinosaurs here, or if they just call it Dinosaur Caves, because maybe the caves are really big, like dinosaurs. I want to try to see if there's any clues for a mystery. We got a big dino here. What kind of dinosaur is this, guys? Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? T-Rex. Is it a T-Rex? I don't think its head is big enough. I guess it could be a T-Rex. Long neck. I don't know, maybe it is a T-Rex. <sighs> Have you seen any clues yet? These rocks kind of look like dinosaur eggs to me. A little bit. Oh, are you looking down in the cracks? That's smart. Thorough. Okay. Okay, well let's keep looking I guess. Let's stay with Ellie and Charlie though. I put on a tiny bit of makeup and put something over my hair because it was crazy. I'm all ready to go, but it's time for me to go and look around this dinosaur. I just have a feeling like right here maybe because that's the clue was the Dinosaur Caves Park. And so I feel like it's gotta be next to or near the sign somewhere. Um, the kids are all playing, so I'm just gonna look around and see what I can find. Woo woo. I think they tried to make this look like a dinosaur's egg, like egg nest or something. The way they laid them are like kind of in the shape of dinosaur eggs. Guys, are you gonna help me look for the clue? Mommy, look over there. Are you sure? What if you missed it? Okay. okay. No way. Where? <gasps> no way. Put it back. Where was it? Right there. Yeah. Oh wow! You found it. A key. Go tell him, quick! Ah! Oh, did you see that key? That's awesome. I wonder if that means there's another walk that we have to get in maybe. Oh, this is a really cool park. Look at the fog up here, all along the mountains. That looks so interesting and then the ocean right on the other side. They're all ahead of us going for a walk. Looks like Charlie's making friends again, like usual. Wow, what a view. That's beautiful, and look at all these purple flowers everywhere. Wow, wow, this place is cool. It's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> so beautiful out here. <laughs> <laughs> He's so sweet. That is a cave. Oh, oh it's going through. Going through it. I'll and zoom I see in. Stairs. No way. Do you see the stairs down there to the cave, to the sandy beach where the birds are? There's a it's little there. pathway. And there's a sidewalk right there. It's it's oh, Corp, James, there. James, I don't want you by the cliff. And look at that little island out there with all the birds on it. Maybe they call it Bird Island. Bird Island. Guys! What? There's a cave down there. That's, those are the dinosaur caves. While I was looking down there, the kids found a lock. <gasps> what does that say? It says, love locks. I want to hold it. Hold on. What does it say? This has a message on the back of it. James and Leanne, always and forever, March 2018. Hold that. James, do you have a girlfriend named Leanne? No! <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know if this is uh, for us. Oh, seems like a. Who has the key? Seems like a different okay. James to me. I don't think that's big enough. Yeah, it's kind of too. The key was too big for the lock, and oh, it's well. weird. I don't know. <laughs> it must have been. You know. You know. That's interesting. We are bound to run into other people's things every now and then <laughs> while we're on this treasure hunt. <laughs> Does it even have a keyhole? It does. It's like uh, that little tiny. Because they don't want thing. someone to take it off. Yeah. That's okay. That's cool. Yeah, that is cool. Okay, let's go to the next spot, maybe. Yeah, let's go to that one. Michael's going that way, but we're gonna go on the secret pathway. 
I wonder who will get there first. I think it will be me and Ellie. Yep, especially because Michael's walking slowly. We're gonna get there first on the secret pathway. We got here first. We took the secret pathway and we got here before you. Ah, you, <laughs> can, see. you can see that island over there better now. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so crazy. I can see that place. Those are big birds too. You are so cute. I think it's time for me to get out my phone and take some pictures that will be later found on Instagram. It's gonna be either on Beach House Vlogs or Pins and Things Insta, so make sure to check out our Instagram. They're awesome and they have updates that you don't get on here, so make sure to go there. And also check out Ubi Loop. Make sure to get your Ubi Loop because we are getting ready to go to Haiti in a couple of weeks. We're almost ready. We still need to sell some of these Ubi Loops. Only these 200. are awesome. We're getting really close. We've sold over 100 really? so far. Yeah. So ah, keep them coming, you guys. Keep them coming. Thank you for all That's your support. That's super helpful. The proceeds of the Ubi Loop go towards Hope Village, a nonprofit organization for people in Haiti that need our help. So make sure to go and get a Ubi Loop. And we're not taking any of the proceeds it's nope. all going towards charity and service yeah so if you want to be of service to somebody in a way and it's super a super easy way go to UV loop and help out oh he's right I think they are pelicans yeah that's cool hey okay let's get that Instagram good pictures good pictures babe whoa another Oh. I'm the one who found both of them. Look hey. at that box though. No Guys, greedy. let's set it on the table. No greedy. Let's set it on this table here. Look at this golden hour lighting. Wow. Look at this box though. That's Dude, Jay is good eye, buddy. Good, good find. Hey. Wow. Guys, it's moving. It's moving a little bit. We need to start looking. I'm the key. Okay. Guys, let's, let's let Ellie try. All right, Ellie, do you think you can open this lock? Here we go. We're at Dinosaur Cave Park, trying to open up a secret treasure. Wait, is it just me or does this lock look like it has two keyholes? That's weird. <gasps> Do we need another key? Oh. No, no, wait, wait, stop, stop. Do we need the other? No, no, that one works. No, that one does. See if you can see another secret lock. Hmm. It's opening. Mr. E was here. What does it say? No, I don't, I'm, I'm beginning to wonder if he has a lot of people working for him. Me too. Because I feel like, you know how in the movies when there's that one guy who's in charge of everything but he doesn't really do the He doesn't do the dirty work, work. yeah. Like, has somebody else do it for That's him. right. He sends people there and has the well, people do the stuff. Well that would make sense, especially if Mr. E's like super, super wealthy. Yeah. It would make sense for him not to be the one like out in the trenches. He's probably got people that work for him that are out planting the clues and hiding the treasures. Yeah. That's interesting This thought. light though, look at this light. Uh -huh. Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> What's Charlie doing? He's making every single one of these wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, and then he runs to the next one. Wiggle, and then he runs to the next one. <laughs> That's cute. So what do you think? So you're putting the key in. Let me make sure I understand this. You put the key in and you twist it and then it's not opening. Nothing's happening, huh? It's not. Can someone hold the chest there? No, that's not it. Maybe I should try the other one. Okay. But James, you might have to hold it. Is it doing anything? Nothing. What do you think, Corbin? Do you think it's a trick one? It might be a trick one. Yeah. It's not opening. Yeah, because it's wiggling a little bit. Okay, let's see if James can figure anything out here. Oh, show me that. Do that again. Wait, I want to see. Oh! Look! You got it! Whoa! <laughs> How did he do it? I was like, show this. mom. Show mom. Doing it so far, and it just popped open. I think, yeah, I think if you see now it's locked again. See? Yeah, but if you pull up and twist. 
Is that it all? Wait, so you don't even need the key? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two keyholes and a key, and you don't even need it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, let's see what's inside. Hey, Ollie. Da, 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 da. <gasps> oh, oh, it's no. gold on the inside. Golden treasure box. <gasps> what does it say? No way. Oh. Your trip is almost over. We Yay! We've been on this trip for a long time. <laughs> Head to a western village north of Santa Barbara, Mr. E. Western village, Santa Barbara. North of Santa Barbara. We need to, okay, let's go on Google Maps. Go to north of Santa Barbara, California. Let's see if we can find an old western, western village. village. Okay. Oh. Guys, this is it. I know how Oh, that it. makes me happy. Just you thinking. Know this is The here? trip is almost over. <laughs> I mean, I have enjoyed it. Oh. Oh, for a second I was like, where's Charlie? <laughs> it's under the table. There's cliffs everywhere. Yeah, seriously. I have enjoyed it, but I am I've learned I'm a homebody and uh, so I'm excited to go home. But I'm glad that we also have home with us. So that's that's made it so that <laughs> Manageable. I can last this long. <laughs> awesome. But this has been so much fun, you guys. <gasps> We should talk about what we think the treasure is going to be at the end. You know what we should do? What? Let's bury a treasure here. Okay. Let's leave a treasure. Okay. Okay. This so let's let's. This is a great place to bury a treasure. So let's find a really cool spot we can leave a treasure here. Okay. All right, we got a treasure here. Let's go hide it. Okay, let's put the treasure inside this bag so that it won't get destroyed. Now let's wrap it up tight and let's go bury it. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, Corbin. You ready, buddy? Yeah. Where are we gonna hide this thing? I know where. Let's go find a good hiding spot for it. There's the ocean, Corbin. Let's hide it in these bushes over here. Here, I'm thinking more like, let me see it. Let's put it more like. I can see it. I can. Just like that. And there's the park right there. You can see the bathrooms. There's the pavilion and the playground. We've got pathways that go around this way. Two benches and a garbage can. And the pathways keep going around this way. It's right there. But we're gonna bury it a little bit. Try to make it look a little bit more hidden. Not quite so obvious. It's right there. Come find it, guys. Come and find it. Make today an event. So guys, today we have an adventure planned. We're heading to a western town just north of Santa Barbara. But we're getting all packed up right now and I just got a knock at the door. The camp is kicking us out because it's past checkout and we're still here. So he's like, you guys gotta go. So I didn't even realize how late it was. We've just been getting up and getting ready for the day. So I'm gonna get all the connections disconnected and try to see if we can get out of here just as quick as we possibly can. We just got up and this guy just came and knocked on the door and said, get out of here. Checkout time was already here. And so we are trying to get everything ready and done out of the way. This is probably the biggest thing that we have to do before we can go because you can't drive when you have to sit at his level. <laughs> so we're putting all the blankets away, getting everything put away so that we can leave and go to the next place. Michael's already found the next place. Hey guys, and now, look at what I found. This was on the back of the RV. <gasps> He's from the urgent. Oh I wonder goodness. if that guy who was knocking on our door was actually Mr. E. <gasps> He kind oh my of, goodness. He looked a little bit like him. Did you guys see him? He had glasses on. No. Kind of an old guy. Um, but I wonder if we need to open up this right now. I didn't. Yeah, it says urgent. Open it up right now. Okay, all right. Oh my goodness. I didn't see him. That's okay. Urgent. It says... It's got a shark on it. Hey, maybe it's the pop-up book. Maybe it's the pop-up book. It has a shark. No way. Maybe it's the pop-up book. This is from oh. Mr. E. <gasps> Whoa! What does that say? It says danger. Jane. Danger, and then you just pulled out the note. And Let's the note. read the note right now. It says, you are in danger. <gasps> As I have been watching you, I have also been aware of a growing threat to your safety. Oh my goodness. Bandits are after you and your treasure. They know the hunt is almost over and they want it for themselves. You know where to go. Get out now, <gasps> We have to go. Oh my goodness. Go right. Guys, okay, let's hurry up and get everything finished so that we can leave right yeah. now. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's get everything. Okay, put that back in there. Let's get this all picked up. 
Get to lift this thing so we can see out the window. Okay, get all the blankets on James's bed. Hurry, guys, hurry. Is it ready for me to push it up? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Where's Charlie's seat? Right, Charlie's seat's struggle. in the front. Hurry up, guys, hurry. Here, I'll take that. That goes in the back. Hurry. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. There's a guy in a cowboy hat. <gasps> oh my goodness, there really is. Oh. Walking around. Let's go, let's go. Oh my goodness, guys. We gotta get out of here. Okay. Charlie, get in your seat, quick. In your seat right now. He's we, gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go. He's in the silver truck. Oh, sit down, sit down. Get buckled, get buckled. We have a go. Let's go. I've been seeing that same RV a lot. That's true. No, All right, I'm turning on the car. No, okay, the door's locked. Are all these shut? I think Michael's getting dressed. Not. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta okay. go right now. All right, let's go. There's a silver RV behind us. We've been seeing. We got everything unplugged and I'm done outside. Yes. Got the scooters put in. Yes. Okay. All right. Hope we didn't leave anything behind. <gasps> I see a white SUV. No joke. There's a white SUV and it's going the same way we are. Oh no. Oh my goodness, guys. Actually, listen, um, when that, we've been seeing silver RVs since the first RV park. Yeah. In all of the yeah. they're always next to us. Uh, guys, there's a white truck out here on the side of the road. I think they're waiting for us. Oh my goodness. the white truck. It's right there. Do you see it? It's hiding behind the fence. There's a girl looking somebody's at sitting in the somebody's sitting in the white truck right there waiting. Oh my goodness, we gotta get out of here guys. Okay. Get buckled up Becca. Okay. Yes, they're right there. And look there's another white truck. Oh my goodness they're everywhere. Oh no. I think we're trapped. They're in front and behind us. Really we, we gotta leave right now. There's another white truck right there. I wonder if they don't know that we're here and they're heading to the other white trucks. And maybe they're rallying. Meeting up. That means Mr. E just barely put that note there. I really think that guy who knocked on our door and told us to leave was actually Mr. E. Yeah, I think you're right. That that is so scary. That means that that means that I think they didn't exactly know what RV we were in, but they were all at the RV park ready to find us. And Mr. E was just watching out for us and was like, leave, they're there. Maybe all the people we met just had disguises of the bad guys. <gasps> oh, guys, there's one coming right after us. trying to get in front of us no, and behind us. Hat on. A cowboy hat? He had a cowboy hat on. Oh my goodness. There's another white truck behind us. And I think I see another one coming too. All three of the cars behind us right now are white, guys. All of them are white right now. They're all bandits. I feel like they're trying to surround us. Oh my goodness. This is so crazy. Look at all these white cars. Where are they going? What are they doing? <gasps> what if they're trying to slow us down? That's another white truck! Three? Yes! Oh, really? Yes! They're everywhere. Ah! I think there's a hive of them here or something. <gasps> what if we're getting close to like their headquarters or something? We're in, a, we're in California. Maybe these are different bandits, but they're part of the same team. Oh. 
There's a lot more of them out here. Yeah, like this is crazy and I feel like they're going somewhere and that we're kind of going under the radar. Either either they're acting like they don't know that we're the beach house or... What if I, they don't know what RV we're in? What if they know we're in the area Yeah. they don't? And we got out of there so quick because of that note. Maybe they didn't see us. Maybe they don't know that that we're in this RV. Maybe they just know that we're in the area they're looking. I don't know. Well, I know Mr. Mr. E is really looking out for us. Oh my goodness, they're what? They're everywhere. And here's another one, right here on the left. Whoa! They just keep coming and coming and coming. That is so crazy. I think they looked up our channels and watched our videos. And now they know our B run. very nimble in this big old RV. I don't know if we're going to be able to outrun them for sure or shake them, but I'm hopeful that maybe they don't know that we're in this RV and maybe we're going to be okay. We'll just have to let you guys know how things go as we're driving along. Yeah, I'm really hoping that we're able to get away from all of them. I just realized that the place that we're going to today is a western village. What if they're, what if that's like the bandit's headquarters? <gasps> what if Mr. E is actually a bandit leading us into their camp? Oh. I hope not. I hope not too. But why would he tell us to leave? Maybe, maybe that was, I don't know. Maybe why that's would he tell us, us to out. leave I don't know. ahead of time? Wait, what if he is? I like hope he's, I hope he's not. I really hope he's not bad. That what if he's bad. trying to get more treasures by the treasures we have that we've been trying to give away to you guys? Maybe. The thing is, we don't know who Mr. E is. He's a random viewer who sent us on this treasure hunt, who gave us this RV, who gives us all these clues, and so like we really don't know who he is, and it could be a bad guy. It could be a bandit. He could be a bad guy in the bathroom and I just found a camera next to me and I saw tons of white trucks behind us so I decided to oh film. This is really scary. There is a white truck behind us. I literally just saw a white truck that had two guys in it. One had a cowboy hat on and one had a phone calling for a bandit. And the guy was literally looking at me and looking at the road doing that. Oh guys, right there. Look at it. It's right behind us. They're just they're just trying to go in front of us. They're trying to go, they're trying to follow us. Alright guys, we have lost them. Nobody is behind us anymore. We went off of the freeway and we were able to get into a spot where they couldn't really see us. And then we got onto this old road, road that was off the freeway. And we are good. We don't have anybody following us anymore. That was really scary. It was really super scary. But I think we're safe now. I haven't seen any white trucks or anybody looking like bandits. Ever since we've been on this back road, I haven't seen any bandits or white trucks or anything. So I think we're okay now. Good. I found a western town. There's like a little like cowboy village or whatever. Yeah. We're just north of Santa Barbara. We're actually getting pretty close right now. It's just gonna be right over these hills over here. Okay. And uh, hopefully, I'm still crossing my fingers and hoping that we're not being led into a trap. Yeah. We'll just have to see when we get there. Hey, look at this. Let me try to 
these are the pictures of the plants and grass, a big tree, and another bat, and it falling around the track. We're almost there. There's ranches everywhere and like paths. And the tree is, it kind of looks a lot more deserty. Yeah. Kind of like a ranch, kind of it looks like a desert western. It's not so green and, and tropical. Yeah. We're gonna be there in just a minute. Cool. We're in Los Padres National Forest. Help prevent wildfires. All right guys, I think this is the place. It's definitely like wild country. But I'm worried. Everyone keep on the lookout because there could be bandits around any corner. There, there could be people waiting for us. So keep your eyes open in case this is a trap. That's true. We were told by Mr. E to leave because it was dangerous. But now we're going to the place where he told us to go. And we don't know if he could be a bandit or not. He could be a bandit. We don't know. So we're just going to go and see where this takes us. We're going exactly where he told us to go though. If ever there was bandit country, I think this would be it. Yeah. Wow, look at this road. It's sheer cliff on that side almost. The thing that scares me the most is that we're being let out on this one road. I don't think there's a different way to get out. I think this might be the only way out and I hope that we're not like gonna be blockaded in here and trapped in this spot really far off from the beaten path. That's it, we can see the RVs down there. Maybe we're gonna be okay. Yeah. Okay, mom's making sandwiches. We got some lunch going on. <laughs> and we have gold keep fish. up all our energy. Mom's making donuts, jelly, donuts, donuts, donuts. They all have peanut butter. Good. Hey, we got Let's take a look around this camp just to make sure the perimeter is secure. I don't want to get ambushed by any bandits, so I'm going to climb this ladder right here on the back of the RV. And I'm going to go up on the top just to see what we can see from here. up here but overall it looks safe all right guys so we just got done swimming today it's been a beautiful day the weather's been really really nice and I feel good here like we haven't seen any bandits we haven't seen any danger or felt any anybody was following us or anything this is a really good place and I and I feel good that we actually were able to escape the bandits so we're just kind of looking around right now because I we still haven't found a clue since we got here and I'm not sure like what we're looking for or what to expect, but we're kind of just keeping our eyes open. Oh, whoa, where was that? Whoa, Mr. E left it there. No way! We just got back from swimming and he must have put it there on the bench right as we were gone. It's one of those things again! The pop up! Oh, another pop up. The clue from Mr. E is found. We're just about to open it, and I was just thinking about how. When we first got here, and we parked the RV, there was no note on that table. Because this RV spot is not an assigned spot. So we picked this RV spot, we went swimming, yeah. then while we were swimming, that's when he must have left it, the note. Because it wasn't there when we got here, and he would have had no way of knowing this was the camp spot that we picked. Which means he was here, and I don't think he was here that long ago either. Yeah. So I think we're ready now to open up this clue. And James, since you found it, I think you should get to be the one to do the honors. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where okay. are we going tomorrow? The oh. oh, it's got a palm tree on it. Open it up. Find a palm tree. Whoa! Oh, Whoa! It's like a man sleeping on a hammock. Okay, it says. Oh, it is okay. He's got a hat on. I was gonna read it. He's got a hat on. It's interesting how he's got a. I was gonna read it. He's got a cowboy hat on. And that's a bandit. It says, "Relax and get fancy. You escaped the bandits. 
threat. You are safe here. Trust me. The end is here. Tomorrow morning, look up to the sky for the beginning of the end, Mr. E. Whoa. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I can't I believe we just the went treasure, to the treasure, the treasure. Okay, for no treasure, just to come back home. Well, it, it said, treasure? look up tomorrow morning. It says tomorrow morning, look up to the sky for the beginning of the end. So it's not over yet. He, he didn't tell us to go home. I think that it's almost over. Like, I think that there's more tomorrow morning, look up to the sky. What do you think of that? Maybe the, maybe he flew There's plane a, for that day and then man. he um wait is what is on an airplane thing no, he said, it's it blue and made a clue. <laughs> what if that thing is out tomorrow and you look up and there's a clue written on it? Ooh, that would be cool. With clouds. Look, you can see the shadow of the man. Ooh, oh, cool. He does look a little bit like a bandit though. Yeah. Which makes me wonder if... That's a coincidence or if that means... That there's a hidden message there. What if the bandits are still out there? Even though he's telling us that you're safe here, what if they're, What if we're actually not safe here? And this is the trap. Hmm. We haven't seen anybody though. Maybe they're just hiding themselves well. Maybe it will <laughs> hey, look trap us. I hope they're not gonna trap us. Hey guys, that's it for today's vlog. I think we're gonna be safe here. If anything strange happens or if we see any other bandits or anything, we'll let you guys know and we'll film it for sure. But I think I'm just gonna trust to know. Up to this point, I feel comfortable trusting Mr. E. Yeah. I feel like he hasn't led us astray yet. What do you guys think? Well, I mean, he he did warn us and get us out of there before all of those white trucks started showing up. Right. So. I think he's good. Let's just give the benefit of the doubt for now yeah. with the information we have. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's today. It's a wonderful day. We've got some big plans today. We are going on the hunt for the finale, the beginning of the end from Mr. E's amazing treasure hunt. Oh, and Today's what kind of treasure is it going to be? I don't know. Last night, Mr. E's clue said in the morning to look, what was it, look to the sky. So let's start looking around yeah. and see what let's we can look find. Okay, everybody's getting on their shoes and socks, ready to go find this I'm treasure. I'm ready. James, so what do you think the treasure is? ATVs. James oh. says it's ATVs. Corbin, what do you think the treasure is? Gold. Gold, ooh, okay. Ellie, what do you think the treasure is? Um, a unicorn. Oh! <laughs> so James, if Mr. E gave us ATVs, do you think that's greater than all of our treasures combined? Maybe ATVs and... No, treasure ATVs. Golden ATVs. That's definitely worth more I than all of our treasures. treasure can't buy. Okay, so when Mr. E said that we need to look to the sky, yeah. Where do you think he's talking about? Look straight up. Do you think he's talking about somewhere inside the RV? Yeah. Because if so, that would mean that somehow he got into our RV. Or do you think it's outside the RV? Outside. Outside. Uh, probably outside, because we've all been That's in what here. I've been thinking too. We Let's have go check a, outside and, and look yeah. to the sky. And, yeah. and, oh, and I got right. my shoes on. You're ready to go, Charlie. Let's go, buddy boy. Okay, what are we looking for up here, guys? Hey, Corbin, are you looking to the sky? If you look to the sky, you see me! Ah. I'm the treasure! Yeah. No. 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 I'm not the treasure? Yes, oh. oh, on top of the trailer! Oh, that's a good idea. That'll give you a better vantage. I'm gonna spot him. No way. Whoa! Thank to the you. sky, Corbin. You were right. Oh, wow. We're gonna let Corbin see if he can open it. Uh, All right, Corbin. It's a cool. What do you think it is? What's inside of it? Uh, he's oh. Oh. He's 
taking the sticker out? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a key in it. There's a key in it, Charlie? Yeah. <gasps> oh. This is the treasure. Oh, I see a key. You see a key? I saw what it. What if it's it? the key to the treasure? Wait, don't just. Or what if it. it's an ATV key? <laughs> that long, luscious hair. Can I have it? Because I found it. Yeah. There's a key in it. <gasps> cool. For a treasure. For a treasure. Oh. It's a heart. It's a heart key. Like Ooh. Hugo. Oh, like in Hugo. Oh. That's cool. It's a heart oh, I can key. see the key. I like it. But how do we get the box open? It looks like a treasure chest. Look at that. <laughs> it does. That's cool. It's like a little tiny clear treasure chest. That means Mr. E last night was climbing on the back of our RV and put that up there. Probably while we were sleeping or something. Yeah. All right, Did you Corbin. Guys hear it's key. What's the box? Let James yeah. have a try, or Ellie. I saw it. Oh, I heard something in the night. It, it woke me up and then I fell back asleep. It's just taking the sticker off of it. Maybe that'll open it up. I don't know. Oh. You still can't get into it, huh? So how do we open it? Two. That's interesting. It looks like there's a latch there two or something. Lots. Here, James, use this, and then you don't have to be like a T-Rex. <laughs> Thanks for getting him a sweater, babe. You're a good mom. Thanks. <laughs> Jeez, this one's really got a stump. Let's just read it because we can see it. But we still no, have to get the key cheating. out. <laughs> that's right. That is cheating. Oh, I I think it's time for mom to have a turn, maybe. Let's let everybody I have a try. It my turn. Oh, Ellie, do you want to turn? Whenever I have my hair down, Charlie has to do this. He Is just, he braiding it? He just starts playing with it, and then I have to brush it really badly. Because <laughs> he tangles it all up? Yeah. Oh, that's cute, though. How can you resist that? <laughs> All right, Ellie's been working on it for a little while. It almost looks like there's a box inside of a box. Okay, it's mama's turn. So it's a box in a box. Uh-huh. If you look at the top here, it like fits in to this. Uh-huh. So you think, just have to pull it out of that. But I wonder if there's some special technique to pulling it out. Can you push James right here on this side? And I'll push right here. <gasps> Is this just really hard? Can I try? Yes. Okay. Here. Looking at these two edges right here that kind of stick out. You see that line right there? Yeah. And there's, there's, I think the inner box goes in right here. Yeah. And I think that this side is just solid. Yeah. So I think that if you pull. I kind of like. <gasps> I got it. It was like jammed in there. Oh. Trying to get it open at all. So I was doing it right. It was just in there really, really, really yeah. hard. I think everybody was doing it right. I think it was just jammed in there so hard that you just yeah. needed some brute force to get yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, since I opened it up, I'm gonna read the clue. It says when three dashes and one when three dashes and one kiss, magic happens. When three dashes and I kiss, magic happens? Oh. Three dashes. Okay. And then this says, "Don't drive off till you find this one, or you'll crush it." Underneath the tire. Let's look at all the tires at once. found the other one too. Because we still don't know where this key goes. That's right. Is there a keyhole for it? Is there a keyhole? Let's there... check on the bottom. Mr. E! <gasps> and a key! Hey! No, that's not the same. It's not key. exactly the same. Because look. Interesting. Oh wow, that's so cool. Key. So, what, what, what else was on the clue? That's What's on the other side of this box? Let's look on this box. We've got a key and a spiral and then two wheels here. When three dashes and one kiss, magic happens. Dashes. That's probably for this. Three dash. Look at that. That one's three dash. 
Dashes. Right there. Three. I don't know where oh, where the black line oh, is. Up, up. Up. Three dashes. And one. Hey, one. Kids. Is that one? Magic happens. Wait. Did they, are they kissing? Oh, three dashes. And one. Hmm. We got wolf in the clear. Please. Or is it one dash? Hey, one dash. One dash. Now what? It's got to be like the other ones where it doesn't take a lot of Wait, force. Wait, is this how you cut Ellie's pizza? No. <laughs> Yeah, that, that intricate. That's how I cut her pancake. Do the wheels do anything else? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Look at here! Look at that! Look at that! We have three holes! A keyhole! It's a keyhole! A keyhole! A keyhole! Keyhole! This is a keyhole. I don't, we can try that. Just don't drop it in there on accident or something. We might never get it out. You've never seen a box like this come with a key though. I know, and, kind of and that's weird because I'm like, look at that. Do you see that on the inside? Right. When the three dashes are in the middle, it's open, so you can put that one in. But that is that all? It just Well look at this. Look on the look on the edge of this on this knob right here. What is that? Magnet. Is that magnet. A magnet? Ooh. You have to listen quietly, maybe there's a click. Shh. So the three dashes and the one dash kiss, pull this out, put the, the magnet. magnet on the key, push this in. There we go. All right, Charlie is so excited. Do you want to do the honors, James? Yes, Okay. Found in space, so hot only dragons can survive. The dragons will magically open their mouth at a Found in a space so hot, only dragons can survive. The dragons will magically open their mouth at exactly 525.50. It can't be inside though. Found it! Wow! That was there the whole time! Oh, what did it say? What was the rest of the clue? There's dragons on it. That's so cool. Dragons will magically open their mouth at exactly 525.50. Hey, um, two knobs right here and it, it, it It'll lift, so we know that lift. this will lift up. So we have to have a code to be able to... Dragons will open their mouth at 525.50. <gasps> oh, they have little knobs on them. Let's go in the shade. What if it's like a clock? I think you're right. There's like dials here. Three, four, five. So we'll put that at five. One, two, three, four. Wait, no, one, two. Five twenty-five is what we're looking for. Five twenty-five fifty. Is that were those the numbers? Five twenty-five fifty. Okay, so if that's an hour is the five, then that means that this goes on the five. And five. It, and if this one is the minute hand, where does the twenty-five at? The minute hand, where's 25? Turn. 25. And then if this is the second hand, then where's 50? 50. So that's 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. <gasps> ah! <laughs> wow, that was cool. Okay, hang on. Another key! It says! Okay. Everybody hand me all the keys because yeah, I don't want to lose good. any. Give them all the key, you Corbin. Have, Corbin, you have the other key? Yeah. This is crazy. We're starting to collect a whole bunch of keys, but what are they got go three to? different keys now. Okay, Cor it says, Corbin's going to read this. It says, hidden by the playground. 
There were one, two families. Well, let's read this after we find it. Wait, we gotta go to the this playground, is, right? This is kind of a long story. Let's go to the playground and see if we can find the next box. In the trailer, make Wait, sure that I it doesn't get stolen. Okay, I think mom's gonna hold all the keys. I can have the keys in my box. I think mom's gonna hold them all. Let's leave all this, all these in the trailer and then let's go to the, yeah. okay, thank you. Wait, wait for us though. Don't run off. Go into the playground. Stay together. The playground's not too far. It's just a little walk. But I can already see it right down there. Okay, let's go, buddy boy. Okay, we made it to the playground. Hey guys, I found it! Hey! Corbin found it! Whoa. Cool! Let me see. Oh, it says Mr. E. We found it! Corbin found it right there. It was right here by the playground. Who has the clue though? Oh. <laughs> Who has the clue? I thought I had it in this pocket, but now it's gone. I wonder if it fell out of my pocket. I seriously can't find it anywhere right now. You know what? I recorded the clue right before we left. I got a video, so I'm gonna pull it up on this camera. You can film with this other camera. Maybe we should still be able to, to, solve, to it. solve it from that. Look at all those woodpeckers. Look at all the holes in that tree. Oh my goodness. Woodpeckers are attacking that tree and there's literally holes everywhere from the woodpeckers. <laughs> Look at that. There's billions of holes in there. From those little the woodpeckers. woodpeckers. <laughs> okay, I have the clue on my camera when Corbin was reading it. It says, there were once two families. Family A lived closest to the dot. Family B lived on the other side of the street. Let's find that clue, or let's find the box. Let's see if maybe, maybe there's a way. On the other side of the street. There's a dot here. Oh. And there's no dot there, but there's a dot on this side. Okay. Hey. I'm gonna read the clue, and let's see if you guys can figure out what it means. There were two families. In family A, the father sat on the right side of the dinner table. Mother sat on the left. The two oldest sons sat on the right, but the youngest son sat on the left. In family B, both father and mother sat on the left side of the dinner table. Their oldest daughter and youngest daughter both sat on the right, but the middle daughter sat on the left. For these things, oh yeah, right and left. Oh. And it says in family A and family B, which family is closest to the dot? There were two families. Family A lived closest to the dot. Okay, this is family A. So family A. Okay. Where did everybody sit? So the father sat on the right side of the dinner table. Which way is right? This one. It's right. Um, the mother sat on the left. Oops. Okay. The two oldest sons sat on the right. Okay. But the youngest son sat on the left. Okay. Got it. Okay, in family B, both father and mother sat on the left side of the dinner table. Okay. Together. Their oldest daughter and youngest daughter both sat on the right. Okay. But the middle daughter sat on the left. How does it open? Oh no. I, I had it upside down, I think. Or maybe not. Ah. Mr. Oh, let's redo it. <laughs> oldest and youngest daughter both sat on the right. And the middle daughter, middle daughter sat on the left. There oh. we go. Yeah, Another key. key. Can I read? Okay. Look at all these keys. The final treasure waits near a big pokey plant. The final treasure. Let me see it. The final treasure awaits hidden near a big pokey plant. Big pokey plant. Captain. Cactus is over there. Cactus? Okay, let's go. Let's all go together. There's some big cactuses right there. This is the final treasure, you guys. This is it. This is the final treasure. Careful not to get poked by the cactus. Don't get spiked. 
Oh, how are we gonna get it out of there? Let me see if I can get it. Or do you want to try, James? There we go. Careful. Whoa! All right, we're back at the RV. It's a little bit less windy out here, and we're gonna try to see if we can open this thing up from in here. All four kids, get a try. Now all we need to do is open this thing up. I'm gonna do the I wonder if each one of these are a trick lock. This is it. I'm amazed to think that the final grand treasure is in a tiny box this small. So at this point, we basically have four keys, and there's four locks, and I think what we're gonna do is let each kid try a different lock, maybe? Oh, that's a good idea. Four kids, four locks. Four kids, except maybe Charlie. I think he's content just kind of just playing over there <laughs> in the corner, if you can see him over there. So maybe we'll let Ellie try the first lock. Ellie, you get to pick which lock. Which lock do you want to try? This one. You want to try the heart lock? Okay, Ellie okay. the heart lock. Let's give Ellie the heart key to go with the heart lock. And let's see if you can open it. Turning. Try to get the chain off first. So there's a chain around the whole box. And if we can get this heart lock off the chain, then that'll give us the chance to open up all these other locks too. But it seems like even the heart lock is a trick lock. It did turn. It did turn. Oh look. There's like, yeah, you can turn it like that. Hey, it's open. <gasps> is it? It is open. <laughs> You got it, Ellie! Good job, you did it! We got the golden chain off! <laughs> you solved it! <laughs> so she put the key in all the way. I don't know if you guys caught this on camera, but it wouldn't turn. So she had pulled it out a little bit of the way, and then she was turning it, and it was able to unlock. Oh, whoa! So if you put it in two, but not all the way, that's how you lock it, like that. And that's how you can unlock it, too. See, now it's wow. locked. And then you go back, and now it's unlocked. And she figured that out by herself? She, was, she figured it out all by herself. Wow. She was just kind of fiddling with how deep it was, and she turned it in and it opened. Wow, that's amazing. That could have taken me a really long time, so. <laughs> to figure that out. That was a good simple one. Too. Yeah. Okay, now, we've got three keys here. And three locks. And three locks. So we're gonna let Corbin take the next one. Corbin, which key do you want to try? Uh, this one. Okay, what does it say on it? Juggles. Does that match any one of these? Juggles. Oh yeah, it's the same one. You had to turn that to make it the right way. Okay, is it opening? No, maybe I should, should do what Ellie did. No, I opened it to see it. Is it just spinning around? Yeah. Let me see. Is it just spinning all the way around? Yeah. Try, show it, show me. So it's going in and then it's just spinning all the way in circles, but it's not locked, unlocking. Ah, three trick locks. Maybe do this. No, he's on the right one because the key matches. Is there something else that you have to do? I looked on the back. Got a bunch of bumps on the back. Okay, you've got it in the right place. You can see it in the back. What about this? There's the nothing. Button. That button? What if I push it when you turn it? No, I don't think that'll do anything. <gasps> we got it! We got it! We just had to push that button while we turned it at the same time. We did it! Good job! Woo! -hoo! That's so good! Okay, now we need to have the next key. Who's gonna, all right, James, which key are you gonna pick? You can pick from either one of these. Does it have a name on it or anything? Or do we just have to figure out which one it goes to? Okay, this one has gotta be for me, I guess. So, does it? It did go around, didn't it? It does. It's not out the way. Wait, look at all the front and the back of the locks. See if there's anything weird or different. This does turn. Does it? Yeah. The little bird on there turns. Oh, I can't wait to get this box open and see what's inside! Have you been pulling on it to try and open it at the same time or anything? Maybe you should turn that while you're... 
I can feel it twisting underneath. I guess my finger was on that hole because I could feel it twisting underneath. Are there any buttons to push? It doesn't fit in that one, so it must be on this one. Are there any other ways you can turn that bird? Because that seems like the only movable thing on the whole lock. And with each of these locks so far, it's like they each have their own little quirk. Their own unique thing. I turned it and it popped it. And it turned it into the right spot. Okay. Does the bird turn all the way around? Yes, it does. How far around can the bird go? Spins around in circles. <gasps> oh. Did it work? <gasps> hey! It worked! So the bird is So it works because the bird is upside down. Oh. Hey, and I didn't try it that way. So the bird was upside down and that's how it worked. But when the bird was upside up, it didn't work. James, did you notice too that it actually took you two spins to get it open too? I don't know if you noticed oh, yeah. that. But he, he had to spin spinning, it around twice it. for it to actually unlock. But it worked. That means we only have one lock to go. Look at the treasure. He's on this giant long treasure hunt that we've been on. Okay, Rebecca, this one's yours, babe. Okay. The last one's the star. Let's see if you can get it. Is there anything underneath it? Not that I can see. Okay. And of course. It doesn't turn. It fits in the lock, but it doesn't seem to be turning. But this moves somehow. It moves a little bit, or maybe? Maybe it spins? It oh. looks like it's going... What if it's a trick keyhole? A trick keyhole. There's another one under. Maybe there's... Oh, there might be another one under. That's a good idea, James. Mm -hmm. This is so exciting, the last lock. Wait, push it down while you're turning. A bit. Are there any other knobs or levers or buttons? What's this? Oh! Ah! I knew it! <laughs> Let's do it oh, one more time. It? This little thing, I was like, wait, that's different. So I just pushed on it with the edge of the key. And it popped Whoa. open and there's a secret keyhole. Oh my goodness, I think this is it, guys. <gasps> this is ah! it. Oh! Oh! Wait, 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 wait. What? I'm nervous about what's inside. All these days of this trip, every single day that we've gone on this adventure has led to this single moment. moment. And I'm Nervous to open up and see what's inside at this point. <laughs> but I'm excited. I think it's gonna be good. Okay, I wanna open it. I wanna open it. Okay, we'll let you I'll open, open it. I'll open it with my with it in my lap and then Okay. <laughs> Alright. It's time to open the box. Woof, woof. message. Okay. All this time you may have thought the precious puzzles I have left you were the challenges and trials of your journey. He said all this time you may have thought the clues and or the puzzle clues and puzzles I have left you were the trials and challenges of your journey. I said patience we have been working together. Thought that was just for solving my riddles. But the true test and challenge was the time you spent together each day. Being patient with each other's weaknesses, and yet being kind was the biggest trial of your patience. Finding ways to make life bearable together in 
a small space for many weeks was a true trial of your wit. That's true. And always finding happiness in the journey and love for one another was the true trial of working together. The greatest treasure in this life you may ever find was right in front of you this whole time. It was love in your family. No chest of gold can replace them. No worldly wealth ever will. And so, in the spirit of this greatest treasure, I did promise you, it is time for you and your family to spend more time together, making cherished memories. This is the end. The true treasure hunt for family love is just beginning. Who's that? <gasps> it says my name on it! <gasps> it says Disneyland Annual Passport! Rebecca <gasps> Beach? Corbin Beach? Corbin! Michael Beach? Michael? James! James! Ah! Ellie! It has your name on it! Ah! What does that mean? That means we get to go to Disneyland! For a whole year! Whoa! That's crazy! That's the treasure! What do you guys think? Is that cool? Are you excited? Yeah! Should we go right now? Yeah! <laughs> We're going to Disneyland right now! Oh Woo! Yeah! We're going to Disneyland, Charlie! <laughs> Disneyland right now. Let's we go. can just go right now. Yeah.